Michael, I could fucking see you. I could see you the whole fucking time. I have the chat up before the fucking show even starts, you motherfucker. <laughs> How's Garon's teeth? Dude, I feel so bad for him. It's like... He has like a sub millimeter of skin left on those on those top teeth. Like like just just push them out like just like a a micrometer and your teething will be over for a while and you'll have like little beaver teeth like nah, 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 nah. right? Oh Bobulus says it's a good one. I don't know. I'm pretty I'm pretty sleepy. I had to get up this morning and go dentist. So I'm sleepy time. But uh Did I clean up the office? I've done nothing. <laughs> I've done absolutely nothing. Um Like I swept, but like there's nothing changed. Um so I'm sitting here and I'm like turning on the stuff, right? And I started giggling like really hard. And we're going back to Yakuza. So if you guys are not familiar with the plan, uh, I am way, I'm like chapter eight of 15 with like a dragon and I've done almost all the side content I plan to do. So I'm at like 60, maybe even 70%. Whereas FF7, I'm like probably less than a third. Uh, so we're gonna fucking drill down on Dogma time, uh, for the next, uh, week or two. Did I say Dogma? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, dra Dragon. Um. So we can bang that out and go back to, uh, two days of FF7 and two days of... Dragon's Dogma. Ooh, because I'm not willing to drop. I'm I'm not willing to drop any of them, but I'm also not willing to not play Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> um, as you can probably tell, I'm dogmed out. Uh, I want the dogma. I want the dogma. Surely I will get the dogma. Um, but I'm sitting here and it's like, we're going to be playing infinite wealth. Uh, and I thought back to me, um, fighting Lao Kao Long, sorry, Chow Kao Long. And I thought back to like me just be like, there's four of you. Why don't you all just hold him down and beat his legs with hammers? And, and it comes up every single i think it has come up every single time i've streamed dra uh, dra uh, dragons um no, like a dragon do infinite wealth um i i can't explain it to you why i think it's so funny to hold someone down and just go, yo, beat his legs with hammers. I like, I, I, I can't explain it. It's like the funniest thing in the fucking world to me. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so dumb. And like, <laughs> it's so stupid. And like, and somebody mentioned it. Um, but like, the gameplay in Dragon's Dogma is knock that guy down and beat him with hammers. Like, that is kind of like part of the gameplay loop. Is that what happened and that's why I'm short? Nah, I'm just short. 
No drama there, unfortunately. If I had a dramatic leg story like um, Cotton Hill, that'd be one thing. Hmm. What I do? Just small. Mad. Wait, what? How's it go? Mad because small. Jealous of tall. Hey, is there a is there a live letter this week? I I was somebody mentioned that to me, but I tried to look it up and couldn't find it. There's a 14 hour stream. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that shit. Though I do have some news for those of you who play Final Fantasy 14 online. There is a singular piece of news out from an interview with Yoshi P. Uh, from a couple of days ago. In which he describes his single regret with the game is making it too stress-free and that there are not enough points of stress along the way and he compares it to a platforming game with no pits and people who have not played the game for its entire life cycle don't know what he's talking about but I do I remember Nabrialis. I remember the Steps of Faith. I remember Shinryu at launch. <laughs> I remember Bardem's Medal one month after Stormblood came out. That is my favorite dungeon in that game because it created this massive filter. Crazy filter. Oh, man. That slowed motherfuckers down. Oh, yeah. I, so, I have a feeling, I have a feeling that, like, mandatory and EX dungeons are about to get a fucking kick in the ass. That's what Pat thinks. Because, um, raiders, like, fucked up super raiders, they have their ultimates and their savages, right? Um, but, like... Play, just playing the game as normal has become completely smooth. So it'll be interesting. Be interesting. I think, um, I think that so if people who haven't played 14 don't know what I'm talking about, um, I think maybe Wiping City was um, maybe a bit overtuned. Um, <laughs> um, but I would rather have. I would rather have an entire raid series of Wiping Cities than what we got with Aglaia. Aglaia is... You, you hit those bosses so hard with so many unmanaged damage phases that you don't even get to the good part of the final fight anymore. You don't even get to the balance the scales part anymore. People just blow right through it. Hey, Gene.
you hate how out of the loop you are when these uh, conversations happen nightwolf uh i'm gonna assume you don't play ff14 so i will actually uh, summarize this. So the long and short of it is that the generalized average mainline content in FF14 has become a lot easier. So back in Heaven's Word, which would be seven or eight years now, there was a raid series called uh, The Shadow of Mock, and the second of that raid series was called The Weeping City. The Weeping City was fucked for the average player. It was so much harder than everything else you expected the average player to do. And so the Weeping City was named the Wiping City because it was absolutely fucked how hard it was. Uh, some fun tidbits from Wiping City was that the best day to do Wiping City was Tuesday, which is reset day, because everybody who knew what they were doing would bang it out on Tuesday. And the farther you got away from Tuesday, the more you ended up in groups of people who didn't have the skills to clear it. And if you had to clear it on Sunday or Monday, oh, good God, Lord, good luck with that. We then went on through a, a number of raid series until the raid series that we have now, which is called uh, Myths of the Realm, I think it's called. Uh, and the first one of, is called Aglaia. And um, the bosses in Aglaia are simple, and they have so little health that you are able to clear what should be a 60 to 90 minute raid in 31 minutes. And it is so fast that you just skip through all the bosses' mechanics. So, Yoshi P, the director and producer, says, maybe I have made the game too stress-free. I think Ivalice was uh, the, the best raid series. That's what I think. That's what Pat thinks. Nightwolf says, the last time I was in the MMOs and WoW and I quit before Cataclysm. Bro, you, hey, you did it. You entered and exited that whole thing at the perfect time. You had the idealized MMO experience. <laughs> because there's one thing that FF14... And Ragnarok and um, all this shit can't compete with. And there's no way to compete with 2004 to 2007 WoW when you were playing it on your piece of shit computer that it still ran at. And you were just overwhelmed with like, WoW! Oh my god, the world's so big! Holy shit, I could go anywhere! Whoa! Like, nothing's gonna compete with that. <laughs> Nothing. I'm posting dank, dank memes in the Barrens. <sighs> the dankest. All right. Hey, let's thank some people. Rick Napalm and Mad Splooshy subscribe. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Ray Wright's one kicked in us up to say rar. Rar back at you, buddy. There's still people who don't know what towers mean. Did they go back and change the markers in Labyrinth of the Ancients and, and Circus Tower? And, and um, Coil. Not yet? Yeah? Which which is it? They did? Oh, man. Me and some friends fucking ran through Coil at like, I don't know, in like Stormblood. And it was just like... Constant wipes because the markers were telling us to do like the opposite of what we thought they were telling us to do. 
<laughs> Silly. Terrace Kasi kicked in five hundred bits. Thanks, man. Stalker stream when? I don't know, man. I'm so busy. I can't wait to see the entire chat backseating those games for you. I don't think chat backseating and stalker would be too bad. I think I would look over and see like maybe one hundred um instances of people saying get out of here stalker uh like a second um um yeah that's what i think get out of here stalker nightwolf kicked in a sub thanks nightwolf hey pat officially a year sub sorry i'm stupid didn't know I could use my Prime account to sub. Otherwise, it would have been year four or five. Eh. I did a bunch of stupid shit this morning. Don't feel too bad. Been here for the ride since the Best Friends episode of Kirby. Thank you for all the genuine joy you and Paige have brought me over the years. Thanks, man. Wishing you and your family the best always. Why, thank you. Uh, Riggs in the chat says, I saw the last FF7 VOD. I think I figured out why Queen Split Puzzles were fucking with you. It doesn't run on Marvel Snap rules where as soon as you win, you win as soon as you take two lanes. In QB, if one lane's number is bigger, that player wins. No, I was having subtraction problems. I was like, I thought everything on the left had to be bigger than everything on the right. Just finished CNC One's GDI campaign this morning. Any recommendation on good real-time strategy games? Um, that's fairly broad. Uh, that if you're going back to the old stuff, man, StarCraft and Brood Wars campaigns are incredible. StarCraft One, they are great. Too much Nuki says Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth 2. Do you want to know something fun about Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth 2? Uh, too much Nuki? Would you like to hear a fun thing? Uh, you can't buy it anymore. It's gone. It was never relisted digitally. And it's expensive, physicals. Monsieur Fantastique kicked in a sub. Thank you. Hey, Orbman. Not being able to watch any streams due to work and avoiding FF7 Rebirth spoilers, but here for you, QZs. Hope you and the fam are good. We're doing great. Thank you. CNC 1's my first RTS, and so far it's one of my best so far. CNC 1's great. Uh, if you played uh, CNC one, you would enjoy uh, Red Alert, Red Alert two. I'm not a big fan of Generals personally. I re I really like Command and Conquer three. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, but I I really really like Command and Conquer three. Um. And I think the biggest reason that I like really love CNC three is that after like decades of being like, yeah, Tiberium, Tiberium's crazy, um, to find out that it's like, it's terraforming by a fucking alien. And then they had, uh, they had units that were like fueled by being in Tiberium instead of being damaged by it. And I was, I just love that, 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 like, well, yeah, of course it is. Tiberium is so fucking weird. Any thoughts on the new Fallout live action? Uh, it looks like they have real sets and I saw Kyle McClanahan. So, uh, tentative thumbs up for now. Yeah. I like Kyle McClanahan. Shut up. Oh, you, you. Oh!
Excuse me. Um, oh, so oh, the terminated system is uh, you got a guy. You guys got to go get those bugs. Make sure to get those bugs, everybody. Can you guys you know, excuse me just a second? Wow, those bugs are assholes. Wow. Oh, geez. You guys got to get those bugs. So I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to what's happening in Helldivers. I, have o I only play it uh, once or maybe w two or three times a day. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Um, no, I only play it like twice a week. Um, but patch came out, less chargers, less bile titans, but they, uh, you can kill a charger with a rocket to the face now. Dead. Dead. Yay. However, and this is where, this, this is, this is, this is, this is amazing. Um, I don't know if you guys have been checking out the Heil Diver subreddit, but uh, there are screenshots of flying terminids showing up at random in people's games. <laughs> um, and uh. Oh, I forgot to tweet that I'm live. Oops. Paige told me to tweet that I'm live. You know, I... <sighs> Guys, do you... I'm sure some of you know what this is like. But like... You, you know, you're with your lady. And um, you're with your lady for long enough that you realize that you are not like a full adult person and that um, she knows how to do things and live her life and she's just imparting that competence onto you. <laughs> because I don't know. I like. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I would do if Paige wasn't fucking helping me be a a, a proper millennial adult. I would probably be on this show more naked than I am now. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so sick. I'm tweet. I'm making the tweet. I'm sick. I just started to tweet 
forgot to tweet I'm live and just typed in Dragon's Dogma before we... <laughs> <laughs> I did it! Oh my god, I did it again! <laughs> it says back to Dragon's Dogma 2! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Back to infinite wealth. That's so funny. Oh, I'm so stupid. Holy shit. He has dogma running on a second stream. Watch his eyes. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm ha I'm I'm having unrelated discussions that you guys can't see. It's very private. Very, very private. Very, very important. Zoom in on Pat's eyes. No, you can't see nothing. You can't see nothing. No one will ever see anything. All right. What happened with Hades? Oh, yeah. So, um, what happened with Hades, this is a great story, um, uh, I was playing Hades, uh, and Paige was like, wow, you really like that game, huh? And I was like, yeah. And then I was playing Hades, and she was like, sure like that Hades, huh? And then I was playing Hades, and then I was playing Hades, and then I was playing Hades, and then I was playing Hades. Um... And then I was playing Hades. Um, and then just to uh, mix it up, I started playing Hades. Um, and after about three weeks of that, Paige was like, I cannot fucking stand that game. You cannot play it anymore. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, you don't tell me what to do. And she was like, I can't stand to see it uh, anymore. No more Hades. No. And she's like, play a different video game. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <sighs> yeah, like literally, she was like, she was literally like, do literally anything else. It's the, it's the only banned game in the house. <sighs> Man, when Hades 2 comes out, I'm going to stream Hades 2 a bunch. Um, is what I'm going to do. Um, on the show. Hey, Tent Division kicked in a sub. Says, did you ever finish the AI, sorry, I, the Somnium Files in your own time? And if so, what'd you think of it? I didn't. I didn't. Hey, Gene, how are you doing today? You having a good day? I bet you're having a great day. I bet you're having a great day, Gene.
Is Paige going to have to ban Dragon's Dogma 2 in the house like Hades? I doubt it. Because Big Paige is going to be... Is going to be, you know, rocking it. Right? She can't ban herself. That's like... She can't do it. Like, Big Paige is substantially larger than Real Paige. And while regular Paige is fairly strong, Big Paige is just too big. Too big. Just too big. All right. Well, that... Uh, those uh, non-specific dramatics notwithstanding... Let's get back into infinite wealth, shall we? Hell Divers 2 update. Oh, it's what the one what I was just talking about. Oh, I didn't even finish talking about. It. So there's flying bugs now, right? But the flying bugs are rare and show up fairly fairly rarely. Uh, but I don't know if you guys have uh, been able to have seen any of this, but people are posting screenshots and videos of uh, some maps having unexplained um um energy formations there's like rotating circles of blue energy at random spots on certain maps which means um which means the illuminate are going to be here in like a week or two. <laughs> um, also, the earthquakes are probably being caused by a sandworm bug equivalent called a hive lord. So every time they give you a new toy, uh, there will be a commiserate extra threat. To go along with it. <laughs> I think this is all very good. That's what Pat thinks. Uh-oh. <laughs> you ever have a sneeze and then you're just like, I'm so glad I sneezed. That's me every time I sneeze. All right. Got to move this over here. Boop. And then... Uh... <sighs> what am I doing? Infinite wealth. <laughs> You ever feel like you're about to sneeze, but then you don't? Okay, listen. <sighs> Being about to have a really big sneeze and then not doing a really big sneeze is the second worst delayed bodily sensation. The second worst. Okay, the worst, as we all know, is when you're like, oh shit, I'm going to nut. And then you're like, no, stop. Stop nutting. Don't nut. And then you're like, I think I stopped it. But then you nut like a tiny amount and you're like, great, that's what I got. Great. I waited too late. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I... I, I, I don't think I've ever felt so threatened in my entire life than looking over and just seeing a bunch of question marks. I like, I genuinely, that, that caused a fear in me that I have maybe never felt. <laughs> Like, do you have, like, oh, you know when you tell, like, a story from your childhood and you're like, haha, funny story, and people are like, dude, that's fucked up, that's, like, traumatic? You're like, that happens to people, right? But, like, if you, like, 
like describing like a body experience and then seeing nothing but blank stares is like oh oh i should go Paige is asking what no what is he talking about well Paige, trust me it's never it's never happened with you not not a one time uh but if you're like if you're like if you're a man and you got your wiener out and you're like you hit you you know because you, when you hit like 99 percent, you can't stop the nut to happen so you hit like 95 percent, and you're cresting to 96 percent, and you're like i should slow this nut down because i'm gonna just nut everywhere and i want to keep whatever whatever's going on whatever's going on i would like to continue to do this instead of just busting all over um but why page sometimes man wants to delay nut sometimes but why because sometimes it's been like 10 seconds and it would be embarrassing You want to, you want to just, you want to like, you, you want to enjoy your ice cream cone and just instead of just, just eating the whole thing. Um, anyway, so you hit 96% and you're like, I should slow this thing down. And you start to slow it down and you try to do they think about baseball or grandmas or whatever. And you're like, I think I stopped it. But then it's like guess what i crawled over the finish line i with the weakest most embarrassing <laughs> cough and now i'm done and you're like no no i should have just went for it peach says just beat it you can't it's done. You got to wait for the timer to come back. <laughs> and everybody, everybody's timer is different. And as you get older, maybe that timer changes. I always race to nut first. So this doesn't happen. Then I cry. I think that's like a whole different. Has that happened with you? No, absolutely not, Paige. No, no. No, absolutely no. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get too deep into this. Uh, but no, Paige, it is definitely, definitely not. No. No. I'm great at sex. Look how fast I can come. Yeah, hmm. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I did make my character in DD2. Thank you. You can hear the glare she's giving me from a distance. Oh, see, this, here's the thing. You're wrong. See, here's here's the thing. You you're not you. You're not hearing a glare. What you're hearing is confusion. And a lot of like this, like kind of like a Larry David thing, just like, you know, that is exactly right. See, I know you, I know my wife. You should get to know your wife. She's the most important person in your life. Hey, even rhymes. Hey, Paige, you want me to show them big page? All right. We're going to Dragon's Dogma 2 by technicality for a second. Uh, and we're going to big page it up. All right. We're on the Dragon's Dog with two now. All right, here we go. I'm currently logged on another computer playing Persona 3 Reload. Oh, shit.
Eh, it's fine. I saved the game. I'm fighting. Uh, I'm fighting um, the the gatekeeper boss on floor 143, but like I say, I saved the game. So yeah, it's cool. Dova dude subscribed to say, "Hey Pat, wanted to explain the heat lamp mix up." Went with heat lamp for the joke, because Paige sometimes plays with the lights in your office like she's adjusting it for the egg that is you sometimes. Didn't mean nothing by it. Sorry about that. My fault, OG. Happy money. That is like multiple forms of abstraction. That I'm the egg and that these are the lamp. You know, like, I don't think I would ever have had a chance to, to get that. So. This is the, this is the Pat Risen that I have been working on. I decided to thicken him up a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean, we're at maximum here. We're at maximum. Torso width and depth, maximum. Legs are too long, fun fact. Uh, body, uh, height torso length my legs are as small as they will go they're as small as they'll go man so fun fact uh so i i this is the smallest pawn you can make and i am at 89 uh kilos which puts me at the top of the average weight class and i'm gonna be thiefing and I put a little dirt on there. I don't know if you can tell, but I put a little, just a little bit of dirt on there. Because I was like, you know what? Yeah, I put a little, I'm, you know, doing, doing, uh, doing dragon stuff. You get a little dirty. You know? You get, you get a little, a little, a little stinky. A little sweaty. As you can see. Uh, so I, I toned down the width of my waist. Because I don't have a particularly wide waist, so that I don't clip through my own fucking body when I walk. Like I like I could kick this up, but it it makes your hands clip through your fucking ass, and I I don't like I'll 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 chunk it up, but I'm not gonna make a character that clips through his own goddamn body. You know. I'm not going to do it. So this, this is going to be Pat Risen. I also changed Pat's name. Uh, because uh, somebody suggested this on Twitter of why use Patron when you can use Patriarch. Because I'm dad now. Yay. Sword is clipping a bit. Shut up, Phantom! Shut up! It's not! And over here, over at Main Pond, we've got Geef the Sad Boy, this Elmo that I made, which I'm not happy with, and Big Page. Extremely large Page. This is as big as Page can get. Page spent like four days on this character. And. I thought it would be appropriate because of my darling wife's incredible eyesight that she would defend me with an with a bow and arrow firing off arrows with pinpoint accuracy
Before, actually, before we continue with this, I would like to make one last uh, thing. Which hair do you guys prefer? Because I was like, I think this hair. But Paige was like, uh, preferred this hair. So 31, so there's 21, and then there's 31. 21? Yeah, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. All right. Archer, of course. So magic's gonna be your responsibility. Straightforward, jaunty, which is like a Cockney accent, which I think is cool. It'll finalize that with Big Page with the moniker Princess. And that's the characters that we will go with, with the full release in 10 days. Wait, no, hold on. Nine days. From now. All right. Yeah, because the New Zealand, duh, idiots. Duh. How much you want us to big beef up Big Page's pawn knowledge? You want quest items? Uh, I'm not going to ask for special treatment. Because I know I'll get special treatment. <laughs> so, I'll just... I'll just be like, yeah, just... Yeah, just calm down. Just everyone chill their, chill their, their tits off. How about that? Paige says pearls and jewels. Hey, Pat, I require food not to die, but I need to deliver it to my door and I need it to be fresh. Where should I go? You should go down to HelloFresh.com if you're in the America, United States. And you should use promotional code POGHF131749. You'll get 16 free meals and also free dessert for life with one free dessert item in every single box for as long as your subscription lasts. What am I doing in this video again? 44.51? There we go. Oh, hey! Doom Spiral, thank you very much for the five gift subs. I love you. Oink. <sighs> Alright, so... We did all that, but however, before we continue, there is still a side- one side quest we can do in Camarocho. In Camarocho. That's right. It's... Somewhere. Not this one. Oh, it's nighttime? Well, fuck me. Has Son he jumped on Kiryu yet? I don't know, man. She should. She should get that fucking cancerous dick up all in there. Oh, I need to- ooh. Oh, my phone's blowing up, guys. I have so much- I have so much phone happening right now. Oh, there we go. I did it. No problem so far. What's happening? All right, I have to. I'm with you. That's right. This isn't dogma. Yes, and you're not Alexander, bro. I feel like I played this game last like one million years ago. A single million years ago. Pat, how do you? Oh man, I don't like that question, but I'm gonna answer it. 
Uh, how do I feel about Dragon's Dogma 2 making you, letting you make obese furries? Well, I hadn't thought about that even once until you said that to me just now. Not, like, legitimately not even, like, a single time. Um, I, I had not even gone in there and hit those buttons. Um, I guess cool. Pocket Bear Illustrator will be happy. Uh, so will uh, many other people. I wonder if the game still has the romance system that's completely nonsensical and impenetrable and terrible and bad and thus awesome. <laughs> like, I've never seen a, a game that has like a worse system for love end up having the best system for love. Like the best. Invulnerable board. Ready for the knockout. Take these, you fucking hosts. Respect women. Right. <laughs> it's time. Yeah. Birds. Get him, birds. Bro. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Man, this music is great. Can't you cuck the king in uh, DD1? Uh, it's, he's a dupe. And the answer is, um, even if you don't, he's so ready for it that he goes crazy. Um, so it's fun when you play Dragon's Dogma 1. Yeah. And the the fucking king goes completely insane. Um because of his wife and all that shit. Um and then he becomes really old. And you're like, none of this makes any fucking sense at all. And then you're like, here we go. I guess I had to um fucking read Berserk for this to make any sense at all. <laughs> and if you did read Berserk, it actually makes a lot of sense. Allow me. You know, I'm wondering... It doesn't have the, um, it doesn't have, use your brain, Pat. It does, uh, uh, shit. Oh, my brain. No, it's done. I'm, it's done. I'm, I'm, I'm over. You're over. We're all over for ice cream. Um, no, no, it's coming back. Hey, I wonder how much direct berserk influence is gonna be in the um in the dragon's dogma too because in the in the in the yes, dragon's the dogma the one um it was like it was literally a berserk fan game Bon. <laughs> man i love me you know like it was crazy time to dig it <laughs> Are you all right? Hold your horses, Nanchan. Yeah, chill, bro. Oh, all I could think about was eating the takoyaki. 
I totally forgot that it's piping hot. Even I know Takoyaki's piping hot, bro. Takoyaki from this place is so well cooked that the insides retain their heat, even when the outside cools off a little. That's how you know it's the best. I just love the crispy outside paired with the tender filling. Why is ah, people in my ah, chat going ah, Sons of the Forest hit 1.0 like over uh, and over? Maybe swallow first. <laughs> my bad. Oh, I got carried away. But you know, it really feels like a slice of heaven to just down a highball after scarfing down some Berserk great influence just about everything. Yeah. Yeah, they really elevate it. Uh, you know, I'm kind of stealing this train of thought from like mutuals on my on my Twitter, but it is genuinely astonishing how badly manga beat comics in like the 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 culture war between the two like genres. It it is it is like totally astonishing. And it's like you can you people you you talk about that and you know you argue about like the the Pat Marvel movies exist yeah Marvel movies existed and were the hottest thing ever for a twelve year period. Now go to a go to a bookstore. And walk to the comic section and walk into the manga section and see the difference in size. Despite the fact that you live in an English speaking country. <laughs> You're talking about literal manga versus comics? Sure. Yeah, but also, like, um,. When Stan Lee died, you didn't have days of of mourning across Latin America or the world with crowds of millions screaming spirit bombs up into the sky. You know, uh, like how much did I drink? It's 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 uh, uh. like drag Dragon Ball. Oh my God! It you can't even. It's everywhere. You can't you can't escape Dragon Ball. It's everywhere. Motherfucking Dragon Ball, man! <laughs> I have some time. Maybe I can focus on some stuff I want to do. Stroll around town. Don't forget to finish up your sub stories. No, bad guy, you don't have to tell me to finish up a sub story. Hello? Here are you. Dante here. Yeah! Dante, son. I'm in a jean show at the moment. Come out with me. We should talk. Yeah! Don't try making out like you're too busy. Let's kiss! Uh, is this important? That bucket list thing you were telling me about before. I've been mulling it over ever since. They should kiss. Got me thinking I have too much unfinished... Do you want to have an old man myself. bromance? Maybe. Uh, if I can be of some help, I'll come. There we go. See you soon. Where should we meet? Rose Blossom, the cabaret club. I'll tell the bar to expect you. Second, right, Dragon Ball is the second most popular thing in Latin America, and the other is Jesus. Yeah, and it's hard to compete with Jesus. He hangs out on that, that mountain all the day. As somebody who does fondly remember the original dub, I'm sad this isn't Kirill, Yul, and Farmer even disregarding Young yet. Yeah. I, I, you know, like, yeah, he's doing an okay job. I think he's doing fine. But, um... I really do wish it was Grillio. Because I think he did a really good job in 7, considering he hadn't voice acted in a while. Goku and Jesus would kiss? Yeah, I mean, you should kiss? I mean, you're talking like they don't. There's a fucking quest at the fucking children's park. You know it. Alright, hold on. There's probably a side quest that I have active that I haven't done yet. Or is that a lifelink or a bomb? So lay it. Oh, I should. No, wait. That's the wrong way. That's the wrong thing. Uh, no, 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 no. Is there? Aha! Okay. Uh 
Honolulu. That's on the list. Honolulu. Okay, so, we got two. <sighs> Off to the children! Kiryu's substories aren't listed as substories, were they in bucket list? Memoirs, unfinished business, awakening. Memoirs of a dragon. Yeah, true, but, like, I can't find those on the map this way. So I'll have to do it like this. I think this is how I would do it, right? Yes. Yes, it is. I need to go to Date first? No, I don't. I don't have to do anything. I can stop this stream right now. You, you, no. Hey! Pocket circuit racing! Fucking... Mm. God! God! <laughs> no! Let's go! you to the pocket circuit stadium. <laughs> really? Pocket circuit stadium. Kamurocho actually has one again. No! No, don't use that mute now! Ah, pocket circuit. <laughs> Those little radio-controlled race cars. It's a surprisingly deep hobby, competing against others on elaborate racetracks. There was a time I was the fastest pocket circuit racer in Kamurocho, taking on all comers. I got to know the kids who frequented the place through racing and modding our cars together. And <laughs> I even formed a lasting friendship with a pocket circuit fighter that managed our location. Last time I saw him was back in... I the hope he's Michi. dead. Hope he's doing all right. Stop being so annoying. Let God damn it. Fighter. Hmm? But, that customization you put together won't work, Kojiro-kun. Try these tires. Wait, instead. why is he younger? And they'll give you more friction on turns. That's not him! Come on, use them just once, buddy. For me? Knock it off! The tires I have are the best. They're purple. Purple's cool, but the color doesn't make it race better. Don't you want to stay on the track? No, shut up already! Fighter, you suck! Let's go find something to do at the park. Yeah, this is dumb, Yasukun. Mm. Aw, just give it a little more time. It's fun. Not again. Fuck you, kid. Jeez, I can't get these kids to listen. That outfit, he must be the new pocket circuit fighter. Seems like he's having some trouble. Oh well, better clean up. Whoa! Sorry about that. Huh. What if my kid got in a pocket circuit? Oh? Then pocket circuit rules. You, That's the uh, best thing ever. You recognize it? Hmm. I used to race here, actually. Back with the first pocket circuit fighter. Whoa. So, my name's Muranaka. I'm a new fighter, employed by the Pocket Circuit Company themselves. What? I'm... Well, as far as Pocket Circuit goes, I'm Kazuma. Kazuma-kun, huh? Really? Pleasure to meet you. You're gonna give up your so fucking... So you knew this branch's first fight... For the... You must go back a while. Oh! I started in the bubble era. Must have been 30 years ago now. Whoa, that would have been the first boom period. Oh, amazing. There's something about, there see it. like, male is it true? toy hyperfixation that so. is just so intense really swept the country and so time. common. Then one day, the Kamurocho Stadium was gone. I'm surprised to see it come back now. Says fat little man playing his uh, video games yeah, to an audience. It did die down for a while, but recently there's been a surge of interest. <laughs> the market's swelling uh. again. <laughs> On top of that, we have a new company president. He's a pocket circuit fanatic, apparently. I'm oh, super into it. He came up with a bunch of innovative new mixed media strategies to get younger school kids back into RC racing. Hmm, that sounds effective. What the hell is mixed media? 
So <laughs> when would you want to be a pocket circuit fighter? Everything else aside, the cars. Pocket circuit cars fascinate me. Pocket circuit's popularity was waning by the time I got into it, but I didn't care. I'd spend every afternoon customizing my rig. That's crazy. All of my meager allowance went toward building the best machine I could. Wow. I didn't have friends at school, but eventually, I met people through Pocket Circuit. It was like finding my place in the world. It was so much fun in those days. Dude, how old are you? It. That made you want to become a fighter. Yup. It was the fighter at my local branch who approached me when he saw that I would race alone. Dude, I didn't he helped I didn't realize this was a position. Kids. I just thought Pocket Circuit Fighter I was a freak. Friends. All thanks to him. That's the person I want to be. Someone who can help cheer up kids up. Like this whole time, times. I thought Pocket Circuit Fighter that's is like just an insane person. Fighter. I think that's the right idea. You're a good fit. Except this job's a lot harder than I thought it'd be. <laughs> Dude, no bad guy asked, do you think like Chuck E. Cheese is the same person in the suit the whole time? <laughs> I guess, you know, I've like I've never been to a Chuck E. Cheese. There were uh, there weren't any in in probably in in Quebec at all. But I I never thought about that. I didn't I didn't. A Chuck E. Cheese was just one of those things like Dave and Buster's that Americans have that are are weird. When it comes to pocket circuit tech, nobody knows more than me, and I just want to pass on that knowledge. You guys have it in Ontario. Teach kids uh, the best customizations. Support their curiosity. But when I try, oh, I can't get through to them. The kids all seem to hate me. Maybe I'm just not cut out to be a fighter. Now that I'm 30, it might be time to move back home. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Yes, yes, I'm laughing at you. <laughs> no. It's just that back in my day, the fighter here was in a very similar position. He and I raced together a lot. I have nothing but good memories of him. It's been a long time, but I still consider him a close friend. You really have that kind of bond? Hmm. He was a great spokesperson for the hobby and good with kids. Still, he had his share of troubles. Yeah. The company never saw him as more than a disposable part-timer. And his wife was like, quit this 30. stupid pocket shit, you fucking idiot. Wow. What did he do? He decided to remain a fighter. He loved Pocket Circuit. The kids loved him. And Bro, end, if I was this guy's fucking wife, love. I'd be yelling at him to fucking quit that kids shit. Kids loved him, huh? This fucking loser toy RC car shit. Go make some money. Relationship with them. I wouldn't be so conflicted. Let me ask. What do you imagine the kids there want from you? Me? Well, I'm the Pocket Circuit fighter. They want me to teach them the best way to race, don't they? Says That's the man whose part. wife banned him from playing a video the game. Bless it. Can consult on bills. Okay. However, happy wife, you happy really think life. That's what children are looking for. Huh? You told me about the fighter who helped you as a kid, but you didn't mention his technical expertise. Did you decide to become a fighter because he made you a faster car? There was a, there's an expression Did you that uh, he taught you which tire set takes sharp turns better. Of course not. There's an he expression the that Paige to once told me like a long time ago. When I back when nobody, we were dating, in which she's like, the man is the head of the household, yes, but the woman is the neck, and she can turn now. that head in what any direction she wants. Fighter. And I'm like, you know ah, answer. you're crazy. You know what you're talking because about. And you're like, oh yeah, no, that's that's 100. Yeah, right. that's accurate. You, 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 this whole just, time, just point where you're told, I've been boys. mistaken. Pocket circuit might be a technical hobby, but. That's not it's, it's for your own good. It can't be only about winning and losing. <laughs> First and foremost, it's about having fun with your fellow racers. I can't believe I looked past something <laughs> so obvious. Oh, no wonder the kids hate me. It's not too late, you know. Right. I'm going to find those kids. This time, <laughs> I won't talk about wheels. I'll talk about feels. Pocket Circuit runs on love! Good. I'm sure they'll take to that lesson. 
Oh, thanks so much, Kazuma-kun. Bro, if I was walking down the street and this guy ran up to me walking with my boy and was like, Hey, kid! Pocket Circuit Fighter runs on love! Like, I'm throwing a haymaker. I'm fucking throwing down. I don't- I'm not waiting for any explanation. <laughs> like, that's weird. That's weird shit. Why are they crying? Ah, they're crying! Yo, sick cart, short stuff. Is this limited edition? Yeah, I want one too. <sighs> hey, give it back, please! Huh? Don't be such a greedy brat. Well, you want to get hit? A premium model's wasted on some dumbass kids. I'll make this thing fly. But I spent my whole allowance on it. I don't care. Go away before I kill you. Don't move a muscle, you scum. Huh? Is that the nerd I think it is? Nerd? No! Try Pocket Circuit Fighter! And that's Kojiro-kun's car. Hand it over. I hope they beat this <laughs> motherfucker Shit. up. Pocket Jerk-Off Fighter's actually <laughs> next to me. Why don't you crawl back into whatever boomer-ass manga they cribbed your outfit from? You know, we put a car like that to better use than some more on top of Don't you want faster races at your rinky-dink stadium? Are you nuts? As if I let anyone who mistreats kids race on my tracks. Pocket Circuit may be competitive, but it's not the fastest who wins the day. It's whoever has the most fun. Oh my god. You two blockheads don't oh my god. Pocket Circuit. Fighter. It's not safe here. How can anyone complain about localization in this era? Don't worry about me. We've no, never no. had better localized okay. games. Now, just you and me. Right. Listen up. You're dealing with the pocket circuit fighter now. Yeah! Uh, cheap shot. So that's how it is. <laughs> hey, this nerd's literally as weak as he looks. <laughs> Look at you in that oversized tip bag. This fighter can suck my ass. <laughs> For real. What kind of virgin devotes his whole life to toy cars? <laughs> Have your folks seen your dumb house <laughs> Go home! If your family ain't disowned you yet, maybe they can find you a real job. Is that Johnny and Bosch? Kojiro Kun's car handed over. Shut the fuck up! Yeah! Yeah, beat him! Break his cars! He's actually out Piss home. on him! Let's teabag him! Yeah! Huh? Ah. The, the hell? <laughs> Who are you? Nobody besides a pocket circuit fan. You've both made a big mistake just now. Now be quiet and give me the card. <sighs> What's up with him? You got some death wish, old man? Can we find out? Hell yeah, we should! Let's fuck this guy up! Oh my god. Oh shit, we're all drunk. We're all drunk defending Pocket Fighter. I forgot. Try this on your side. Oh my god. I feel so heavy. Here, I'll help. I can't. That's 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 maybe this might be my favorite quest I've ever fucking done in the series. Just having him having them sucker punch him and then having the goddamn music just completely drop out is so fucking funny.
That should do it. Hmm? Uh huh? Fighter! Please! Say something! Uh, is that you, Ojiro Kun? <sighs> yes! It's me! Are you okay? Oh, <laughs> Fighter! Yeah. I'll be alright. Are any of you hurt? Uh-uh. All because you protected us. Thanks so much. Fighter, you're so strong. We never knew. What? Huh? He got his ass kicked. What? Me? Well, look. Those bullies are all knocked out. Oh, they didn't see. Mm. Oh. Was that... Me? There's nobody else around. You're the coolest fighter. Um, I'm really happy you got my car back. Don't worry about it. It's a fighter's job to keep the racer safe. Fighter, you... You did all of this for us. After I said such mean stuff to you. I swear, I'm so sorry. That is like, obviously, like okay. a 25 year old woman Kujoku. pretending to be that little boy. I'm the one who's sorry. <laughs> you only wanted to have fun customizing your kit. <laughs> I tried to force my way of doing things onto you, but you never like, asked me like to. Like, it's, it's really I intense. I'd be happier if you won more often, but... You were smart enough to know what matters to you. I was a crummy fighter. CRUMMY FIGHTER! I forgot the most important thing about Pocket Circuit. Please, forgive me. Fighter! Hey, I know how to make it all okay. Let's race together. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Take us back to the stadium, fighter. Ah, yeah, of course. Um... I might need to buy a couple bandages first. Can you two go on ahead? Sure. <laughs> we'll wait for you there. Well done, fighter. You've really earned he, that He didn't title. do anything. Morinaka-kun. Hmm? Uh, president. Oh, shut up. Huh. <sighs> No way. Of course. Fighter said the new president was a fanatic. I got a call on my pocket phone that a fighter was in a scuffle and rushed over. Are you alright? Oh yeah, I'm just fine, sir. And no harm came to the children. I see. Well, thank goodness. You did the right thing protecting them, Uranaka-kun. <laughs> Any fighter worth their stripes would do the same. Uranaka-kun? Something's different about you. Have you found some new motivation? Do you think so? Kazuma-kun's to thank then, probably. What? Kazuma-kun? Yes, sir. He's a truly noble man and a racer since the bubble era. I was beginning to doubt my value as a fighter. To be honest, Kazuma-kun heard me out and gave me advice fit for a sage. He opened my eyes, sir. How about that? Cosmic Coon. You say he helped you through a personal crisis? Yes, absolutely. May I ask, uh, it sounds like you might know him, sir? Hmm. He happens to be an, uh, No. An important old friend. Oh, I should have realized. Cosmic Coon mentioned knowing the first <laughs> fighter. He called you a friend, too. He did, did he? If it's all right, sir, I should get back to the stadium. <laughs> the kids are waiting for me. Hmm. And take care of yourself. Is... Oh, Morinaka kun If you happen to see Kazuma-kun <laughs> again, give him a message. I would love another race someday, friend. Is there you got it, any, like... I won't forget. Like, I'm trying to think, See like, again, the Mr. closest President. I can think of of this is, like, Monty Python. But, they like, Monty Python now. isn't, like, strong Bobby enough sure is special, of the of the cool. combination between if absurdity we, and, and seriousness. Because Monty Python Let's never gets together. serious Let's enough. Cry. Let's shout. Just like the kids do. Right? Like we used to back then. Let's race, Cosmic. Like I'm, I'm trying to think of like something English language that comes even close to this type of like like tone. 
and I can't think of even one thing. I can't even think of anything even close. Oh my fuck. Of course. Friendship doesn't have a finish line. That's true. That's true. That's true. Wait, is this the alley that we bought that kid pornography in? Oh, the pornography thing is gone. It's gone now. You can get on the roof, though. Ooh. Should I open it? They're open. Night, night vision goggles? Apparently Bondi and Arxis are not friends at the moment. Yeah, Bondi Namco put out a statement that was like, we have seen a, uh, we have seen some very sharp decrease in profit and must focus on quality. And it's funny because that, that like corresponded with like news of, hey, did you know that fucking From Software bought their fucking IP back? Off of the off of the Bandai Namco. No begging for mercy now. That seems like that seemed like it was a real feather in their cap for a good long time, didn't it? Ready for the knockout. Let's finish this. You're going to regret this. You're gonna get Take this daytime drunks. Right. Gotcha. Boozer, bruiser. Jesus Christ. What kind of fucking embarrassing schmuck walks around getting drunk in the middle of the day? Speaking of, one second. What kind of fucking loser? Is wandering around day drinking. How could you do it? Canned beer? Yeah, man. It's Asahi Super Dry. I don't know if you've had this. It's actually a really, really great can of beer. It's the only can of beer I like. That sounded like a fucking ad. Pay me! Actually, you can't. You can't advertise alcohol. Oh. <laughs> On, um... Ever, actually. Send me free beer! I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, no! They're harassing that lady. Oh, they're creeps harassing that lady. Die. Have fun with this. Jesus, that's so OP. Follow my lead. I'm not that Nothing personal. Let's finish this. Yeah! Piss on him! Oh, he got me sick. Oh! Oh, consumed with fear. Don't care for that. Do I have a character as a host for stealing items? I don't. Oh, come on. I do not. 
Uh, currently, I'm, I'm trying to get all their core classes to 30. Right now. Nailed it. I saved the woman. You're welcome. That's probably too strong for me, actually. Modified rocket launcher, of course. Of course. I've got some more from Lady B. <sighs> Who's it gonna be? The reds? The whites, <laughs> the, the blues? District, huh? Thinking back on it. Old man Komaki used to train me <gasps> and over in West Park. Oh, shit. West Park's been gone ever since Kamurocho Hills went up. But this place hasn't changed a bit. I swear, from kicking you while you're down to unfair matchups, even full-on shotgun blasts, Komaki knew how to dish it out. Yeah, he was a fucking insane old His motherfucker. His methods might have been a little... An orthodox, sure. But I also learned a lot from him. He was pretty aged last time we met, too. Hope he's still doing okay. Yo! The hell you think you're doing here, Gramps? Yeah, bro, this is our territory. What, you deaf or something? I am, in fact, deaf. Deaf from cancer. No, actually, I didn't. And I'm pretty sure no one else did, either. The hell'd you say? All right, fine then. It's beatdown time. Wow, oh, really? That's boy. it? You're dead meat, old timer. You just jumped Sorry right to it. it. Now hang on. I'm a nice enough guy. Tell you what, you leave your cash with us, and we'll let you go. Sound fair? Nah, I'm good. Me time. What a guy. I don't have time for this. Hold it. You fucking with us? Is this only and weird because the side quest dimension is real now? I guess that's kind of it. And shit is a good way to describe The it. side quest dimension is now fully Man, integrated up. into I reality, know. which just kill you, makes it even stranger. You know, like It's my turn. Try to Allow me. Time to put you down. Like Ichiban caused the side quest dimension to like manifest into the real world. And that's crazy. Waste of my time. Wait, hold on. Speaking of the side quest dimension, I went back to seven and it clicked to me that the game opens with Ichiban walking out of the side quest dimension. You mean when he's pushing the uh, uh, the Alki around in the chair? That mouth of yours is trouble. Better learn to shut it, or the next guy might not be so nice. We're so sorry. When he's chasing the guy <laughs> selling animal fuck well, videos. Are you a sight? Wow, you're no right. Doubt you fought your share of battles. So he huh? just lived there, huh? Oh my god, he's alive. Huh? Wait, no. Are you? Hey, uh, nice to meet you. Forgive me, but have we met? Hmm. I see. Live long enough? And you're bound to have a secret or two. <laughs> Sorry. It seems I was mistaken. <laughs> Just, well, you look very similar to an old pupil of mine. But that was long ago, of course. Hmm. Is that right? Long ago. The name's Sotaro Komaki, master of the Komaki school. 
I teach martial arts here in town and have for quite some time. So, you new here? Come out this way on a trip or something? Oh, no, just here running an errand. I'll be leaving soon. Ah. Then, while I have you, any interest in becoming my pupil? Fair chance you'll improve your skills 100 times over. But I already know Tiger Drop. <laughs> you know, had you asked me when I was younger, I might have taken you up on that. Unfortunately, I've got other things on my plate right now. Sorry. Sure. Can't argue there. Well then, at least give ear to the ramblings of an old man. <laughs> Bro, you gotta... For years Are now, you on fire? I've taught martial arts to anyone willing. From ambitious youth to aimless gender. I think he's on fire. Among them was a strong, kind man with a fist to match even mine. And though he never spoke of them, his scars were selfless ones. No, there's a fire barrel? No, no, there's no was, fire barrel. He's on fire. I considered him my number one pupil. He even went on to influence my other students as well. Perhaps it was what you might call charisma. Of all those who came and went, he was the only one Charisma. who had it. Now then, Charisma? much to my dismay, my pupils tell me he's he already He had that Riz, away. man. Nevertheless, I sometimes dream of giving lessons to him once more. Just as I had in West Park with all the homeless. Listen, truth is, I don't have much time left. So can I ask you a favor? There's something I'd like to do before I die. And what's that? I'd like to round things off. One final fight, a duel for the ages. Who better than my number one pupil? Oh, uh, uh, forgive me, a man that looks <laughs> like him. <I> mean. <laughs> so how about it? Help an old man out. I can do that. I may not be your pupil, but I'll give it my all. I'm so glad they actually just put well the then, level there. I hope you don't mind if I do the same. In the name of true strength, Sotaro Kumaki answers the call. Is it going to be 4v1? Because if so, that's going to be hilarious as shit. Here we go. Okay, no, it's. <laughs> Be so fucking stupid. Allow me. Ready for the knockout. Let's finish this. Take that, you old bitch. Here we go. It's over. Yeah. I would love to know what level he is on New Game Plus. You are but a fledgling. Allow me. Might as well. Level 90. Cool. <gasps> Here we go. It's that move. Time to put you down. Allow me. Ooh. Here we go. Nothing personal. All right, let's do this. Follow us, make this quick. I won't hold I'll just back. Have to retrain you. Think you can handle this? Oh fuck. Oh shit, I'm gonna lose. All good. I'm not out yet. Oh, 
healing up. Yeah! Allow me. Such a it's over! <laughs> Might as well. Here we go. So stupid. Follow my lead. That's so stupid. Circuit fighter. I won't hold back. Such a nothing personal play. All right, let's do this. Follow my lead. Bowling. That's Why not? Yeah! I won't hold back. Healing up. Follow my lead. There we go. Dollars doing better than I thought. <sighs> How was that, old man? My, you are something. Really, you don't have much time. You're way tougher than anyone else out here. <laughs> it's been a good while since I got to go all out. No other pupil of mine's ever had what it takes. <sighs> Anyhow, it seems I've nothing left to teach you. Maybe you're still mistaken, but can I tell you something? What's that? A while back, I did in fact do martial arts training. What? And from someone just like you. That's crazy. Whenever he found someone looking to get stronger, 
He'd always take them under his wing. His training was unique, to say the least, but his passion was unmatched. He taught me it's not just one's strength, but their will. I'm sure he's still out there holding on to those beliefs, raising others, just like he raised me. Beliefs, hmm? Well, I'm sure he'd be very proud of his former student. He'd see a determination to lay it all out on the line for others, and the kindness needed to protect them. He'd say, you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> but so remember, farcical that we're all talking around it. always be used against you. Careful, you don't let your guard down. Man, I should get Anyhow, a move out of this. With that, I think I've said all I need. I'll keep it in mind. Anyway, take care, all right? I'm glad we got to meet. Thanks again, old man. Sure. <laughs> Farewell then, stranger. As long as these old bones hold, I'll continue devoting myself to my pupils. Perhaps someday we'll fight again, should our paths cross. Until then, keep on keeping on. Hmm? I'm so glad. <laughs> that Likewise. Keep On Keeping On has gotten this massive resurgence. It's like a very old-fashioned phrase that is suddenly just back, and I love it, and I've always loved it. Guess the Komaki School's got a lot of students these days. No doubt they're all learning the same lessons I did. I learned a lot from old man Komaki, and not just techniques. <laughs> I learned fact, to be disappointed in your children. Day. Keep on keeping on, old man. Wait, you're walking towards the exit that you can't use. <gasps> yeah! I did not, in fact, get a new skill. I wonder if I can get that remembrance now. Let's roll. I am so glad that I have a small... Like, I feel like my involvement with this... this this series is like a minor footnote. I've always felt that, like, people going, Pat, it's because of you, Yakuza 5! And I'm like, I don't believe that for a second. I think I helped a little bit, but, like, sole responsibility, or even pseudo-sole responsibility? Like, ridiculous. But I'm glad to be, like, even... Even, like, a tiny little itty-bitty heart you know let's dig in yay i'm doing my part i literally made all the games in my basement it's true i did Hey! As far as I'm aware, no other streamer cares about Like a Dragon as much as you do. Oh, I can think of at least one. And she is in this game. Wow! There's no way to fight. Not it is ready for the knockout. Let's finish this. Hope you're ready. Oh, 
Oopsie. Hmm. I'll just do this. Though. Don't forget to call Kamaki. Good idea. Oh, fuck that glass. Who needs that shit? He's the most expensive, huh? Let's do it. Hey, I gotta rank up with my pounding. Delivery. Komaki style. Reign supreme. Oh. Oh, this is different. <laughs> I still got it. Holy shit. Oh, it's an old style no pound mate. I see. Beam, really? Oh my god. You're going to regret this. You want some? Sorry to drag my I'm on it. Yeah! Yeah, how do you like it? I won't hold back. How do you perfect parry a hand grenade? Really hard. Chapter chapter is pat on eight. What? What? Pat's on chapter eight. If you want to die. Uh, he's polishing off all of Kiryu's side content and remembrances. My brain's fucked up. I'm sorry. Fucked up bad brain. Try and stop me. You're going to regret this. Easy. Wait, I'm not yet. 
Oh, I'm so close. Hell yeah. All right. This is the only. This is the only of the remembrances I can't get in the Kamrocho. Let's do it. It's practically as big as the Millennium Tower. Back when this play. Hold on a second. Dumb Dio says, man, I'm going to miss Kane after Command and Conquer 1. Don't worry too much about that. Back when this place was still under construction, I fought to the death with the man on the very same rooftop. Ryuji Gota, Dragon of Kansai. He was powerful, more so than anyone I've ever faced before. Go as far as says that man with a mo was a monster. That's why I sometimes get this feeling that'll suddenly reappear right before my eyes, even now. Ah. I wonder if the kids back. at Morning Glory feel the same way about me, too. Did he just literally say that Ryuji was the, the toughest guy he ever fought? <laughs> yeah, I'll believe that. He, by the way, was a secret Korean. <sighs> Am I able to do this? Let's find out. Ryuji's gonna be the bartender in nine. That would be really funny. That would be really fucking funny. Let me tell you. Oh, Didn't he die? Yeah, what does that even matter? You know who'd make a real good bartender? The real Jungi Han? That'd be incredible. That would be amazing. Original Jungi Han. You see Let's his brains in. fly out the back of his fucking head, dude. I think he's the deadest anyone has ever been in the whole series. Thanks for buying. That was great. That's certainly food. Lao Ka Long is also shot. I feel like Lao Ka Long didn't get shot quite as hard as Jungi Han did. Like, Jungi Han got fucked, man. What the fuck? Let's go. Yakuza 4 ruined the series in terms of believing deaths. I don't know if that's true. Oh, they're all standing perfectly far apart. What a pile of shit. Have fun with this. Hold on. Bees! I won't do that. Ready for the knockout? Let's finish this! I don't think Yakuza 4 ruined the series in terms of believing deaths. I think that honor goes to. Um. I feel like, I feel like 2 ruins it right away. Cause like you watch Tarada get gunned down by like a machine gun and then he shows up at the end. He's like, yeah, I faked it. 
You know, like. No begging for mercy now. Watch this. I played a lot of Kiwami 2 in Pets, right? Yeah, no, like, they started real early with... Did that guy die? Yeah, probably. And then it was like... Wow, they did a lot of fucking damage. Oh, you can't... Oh, you... Oh, it's like that, huh? Oh, you. Mm, I see. Dagger, huh? I see how it is. Alright, Namba. Have fun with this. Okay. I see what's going on. Try and stop you. Try this on for size. I'm doing no damage. I'm not too worried about it. I got statuses. Oh good. I won't hold back. You're gonna be in a world Wanna play? Ooh. Oh, that's how that works. You're gonna get stuck. Yeah, do it! Nancy! Delivery. Coming up. Gay crabs, go! Killed everybody else. Yeah, hit, attack me. Yeah, definitely. Kick his ass. Here we go. See if I can bleed him. It's over. I can. Oh go. fuck yeah. And he's sick too. Fuck yeah. Rank 30. Learning more every day. Essence of the Dragon God. There's more where this came from. No problem so far. Hello, lady. 
Should have known Chinatown would be a good place to find souvenirs, huh? Here? Is this Onomichio merchandise? Who knew he'd end up in a place like this? The first time I put on that suit, I never thought he'd end up being a nationwide phenomenon. Guess it's due to all the love that was put into him by his creator, Hironaka, and the people of Onomichi. This brings back memories. Glad to see all that hard work pay off. And his adorable little pouch. I fucking did it. Bro, I gotta piss. I'll piss in like a second, but still. More will pop up? Yeah, but I clearly did the vast majority. Yeah, I scream. Just got here from Dune. Did I miss anything? Nah, Quig. You haven't you haven't done it. You haven't you haven't missed nothing. In fact, I think I actually still have like a single thing to do at the survive bar. I do not? Really? Oh, there's something for Chitose. I see. Alright. When do donations get read? I mean when I come back from piss, I guess? I didn't realize there were any. I thought it was unpopular and broke. So I'm, I'm going to pee now, if you'll excuse me. So sometimes when I pee, I like to watch my phone so I can read memes while I pee because, you know, I get bored because it takes too long to pee. I, get, I got dopamine. Um, and I saw somebody say that uh, Big Page and me were incredible likenesses and that we did a great job with the character creator. And I think that's great. And I appreciate that. And then I dropped my phone in the toilet. All right. Anyway, let's thank uh, let's thank some people. Oh wow, people are here! Wow. Oh, so there's Dova Dude subscription that I read earlier about the heat lamp. Thank you, Dova Dude. Feeny Lee subbed. Yo, what do you call a crab that plays Smash? A hermit crab. Ah, oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I like. Dude, dude, like, 
It's the shittiest joke I'll ever tell. But I thought, what do you call a crab that play, play, plays Smash? And I wanted to blurt out a pedophile. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, and then you'll all you'll all rush me and beat my legs with hammers. Yeah, okay. That's all right. Thank you. Doom Spiral kicked in five or bits. Thanks, Doom Spiral. So I booted up Infinite Wealth and got into a fight after an hour of cutscenes and won like five bucks. Hell yeah. Doom Spiral also gifted five gift subs. Thanks, Doom Spiral. Again, Shikari subbed. In the time since I've started playing Infinite Wealth, I you've played Infinite Wealth. I've started and played through four to eight. Glad to be able to watch these streams. Bro, calm down. Like I know I'm I'm taking my time with with Infinite Wealth here, but that's that's too fast. I saw a really, really fascinating uh, series of tweets where there is a, a subsection of Japanese netizens that are watching Free Ren, the um, anime about the elf girl that has become disassociated with society because she lives too long. And they're watching it at two times speed because the show's pacing isn't fast enough for them. And they don't understand a bunch of the emotional beats of the story because they're watching it too fast. And like they have become the main character because they have disassociated from the emotional context of the show because they don't understand how long it's supposed to take. It's kind of amazing. It, it, it is kind of amazing. Not overrides a follow up question. How do you feel about obese furries? I don't I don't care. I don't like Minerva Mink was hot, right? But that's just because you took like a, a sexy blonde and just painted her furry. Right? You know, it's like, a, I don't know. Dapper Cactar kicked in, so thanks, Dapper. So for what I'm seeing, to get episode I guess the answer for P3R, you are forced to buy the season pass, which is $35. God, I hate a bunch of the business decisions that Sega's been making the last few years. Oh, you can buy an Atlas for that one. That's a very Atlas decision. Um, I think the answer is cursed. Because even if they fix it with the compendium and all that shit for this new one... Now it costs 35 fucking dollars. That's ridiculous. Eric Omega sub. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate it. Pat, you've been my favorite content creator since 2015, so you reading my messages makes me happy. Oh, no problem, man. Thank you for the subscription. Though, like, I read a lot of people's messages, subscription or not, so, like, don't worry too much about it. Which faction do you I prefer? GDI or Brotherhood of Nod? Oh, Nod all day, man. Every day. Every single day. Every day of my goddamn life. Cain lives. Cain is alive. Brotherhood of Nod fucking kicks so much ass, dude. Come on. Like, yeah, the GDI get the mammoth tank and that's better, but like, pfft, come on. Spartan Laser kicked in a sub. Thanks, man. Apologies for being the first guy to suggest Das EXC. During your attempt to play it last year, contributing to a clusterfuck. For your, uh, for what it's worth, the game runs great on Steam Deck, and it using a USB-C dock gives keyboard and mouse control with HDMI out. It's a shame how much trouble I've had trying to um, capture footage of um, Deus Ex. 
We already done with Infinite Wealth? Nah, we're just taking a little dono break because people flooded in. Convex Noise kicked in a sub. Thanks, Convex. Hey, Pat, thanks for all the quality streams over the past few years. Out of curiosity, if you're going to get into the Yakuza series, which is a good starting point, zero or seven? Zero or seven? Zero or seven? It's never been clearer than it is now. San San kicked in a sub says, love you, Pat. Love you too, bud. Love you all. Except for you! Um, who am I going to pick to shit on? Tiger Fang 86 you bitch! Get fucked! Beat his legs with hammers. Do it. Come on. Should I get a hammer emote? I'm going to talk to somebody to get a hammer emote. Ginger Bones sub. Thanks, Ginger Bones. Here's to funny man and ex-bob who loves peaches big and strong and stinky, shouty, and baby Gowron. Your streams are great because you do a good job. Thanks, man. I try. I think I do a good job, but you know, it's hard. This is hard. If you would believe it. If you would believe it, this is actually very mentally taxing. Have any of you tried to do a stream? It sucks, man. It's super hard. <laughs> like it's it's it like you ever okay, you know what it is? Okay, I know exactly how to explain the difficulty in streaming. Okay? So you know when you bump your toe on like the corner of some bullshit? Right? And you just go, oh, and you're like, you're like, and you're overwhelmed, not with, I can't believe how much this hurts. You are overwhelmed with this hurts way more than it should because I don't think I broke my toe. You're like, why does this hurt so bad? It's not. It's like, you know it's actually not a big deal. But it hurts so bad. That's what that's what streaming is like for, like, brain use. You're like, this is actually really obvious and, and simple. Anybody could do it. Oh, no. Ah, it's hard. No. <laughs> oh. Some, sometimes. It, like, you know those days that I do, like, a nine-hour stream? Like, oh, new game. Woo. Uh, and you can see me getting a little run down at the end. I'll like go back to the house and Paige will be like, how's your stream, sweetie? And I'll be like, good. It was good. Good stream. Love wife. Food. Thank. Thank food. <laughs> like you just, you blow every neurotransmitter you had. And you just you just ret you returned to caveman. Shonen Hero kicked in a sub to say the writing is so good. It sure is. Aether sub. Thanks, Aether. Keep up the amazing streams, Pat. Can't wait for FF seven R seven. That's that's wrong. Later this week, give Zangie pets and Pat Jr. kisses. Don't forget Elmo and the wife. Dude. The baby loves the cat and dog. And and pets Elmo and tugs on Zangief's jowls and tries to hug them and smiles when they try and kiss him. And it's the best! It's so cute! Ah! It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute! Queek Quag says bulldogs are great dogs for babies. They are. Zangief is extremely gentle around the boy. But there's only one problem. He wants to give that baby kisses. So he'll be like, snort, 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 snort. And then he'll lick his chops and you see him getting ready. And it's like, if I let him, he would just... He would slurp that baby for an hour. 
And then we would have to wash the baby because he would be dripping with dog juice. Right? And here's the problem. When that kid's like a year or two years old, you know, whenever he starts moving around and we start giving him like free reign, he's going to just go to the dog for slurps. You know, like they like there's going to be an eight, you know, maybe it'll be three, maybe it'll be four, maybe it'll be five, whatever. There's going to be a time when we can't we can't prevent the slurping. Boss Bear kicked in a sub. Have you picked up One Piece again yet? And what's your favorite moment in the manga so far? I'm still at the beginning of Skypia because if you can believe it, um, when it, you know what I did at 9.30 last night? Me and Paige were sitting on the couch. We were cuddling a little bit. And um, it was 9.30 and I said, man, I can't wait to go to bed. And she was like, yeah. And then I took a shower and brushed my teeth and went to bed. <laughs> Honk, shoo, me, me, me's. That means you got the old? No, it doesn't. Unblockable tree, Dan. It means I get up at 5.30 or 6 o'clock every single day. If you do that for long enough, your sleep schedule will change. I remember I was like a night owl for most of my life. And I'm like, I could never... Always wake up at, at, you know, go to bed at 10. That's ridiculous. I'd always stay up. Um, yeah, you wake up at fucking 6 a.m. enough times in a row. Guess what? Your body's going to make that decision for you. Because the baby decides to wake up at 6 a.m. That's when he wants to get up. And you can't argue with him. Because he's too cute. You're like, st you're like, go to bed. And he's like, ah. Goo goo gaga, -ga. and you're like, ah, oh, I'm just gonna kiss him. And Robo Token kicked in us up. I've recently been reminiscing about some games from the 360 and PS3 era, like Prototype, that game rules. Uh, but it sucks also, it's interesting. I kind of want those games to get a remaster or a sequel. Are there any games from that era that you'd like to see come back? Um, Prototype kicks ass, and its story was way better than it should have been. Way better than it should have been. Man, you could fucking go in prototype. Like, you could run your ass off. It was great. Mercenaries? So, biggest dickest the fourth says mercenaries. And you know what? Helldivers feels just like mercenaries. The way you call in airstrikes and the general movement, like, <sighs> Jumbo Crunchies kicked in a sub. Should I finish FF7 Rebirth or Like a Dragon 8 first? I'm about halfway through both. Definitely FF7. We are all on the race against Spoiler Town. I made this decision for my channel. And because of where I am for both and my history with Like a Dragon. But if you're if you're halfway through either, oh yeah, no, FF7 for sure. Because people are going to try and store, spoil you. Are we just taking a break? We are, in fact, just taking a break. And break is over! Oh my god, I'm so dramatic. Oh, what the hell was that? Was like, that was like a Blanca noise. This is the place. <laughs> Gonna watch the original FF7 playthrough? I mean, I didn't, I didn't get that far in original FF7, so don't, don't worry about it. Took you long enough. Much obliged. We've got it from here, going over to that table. Very good, sir. Please enjoy yourselves. It's a date with Date. Get it? Uh, well, what are we doing here exactly? 
I'm gonna fuck bitches, Kiryu. I appreciate you coming down here, Kiryu. You won't regret it, I think. I'll trust you on that. Whose table was that just now, by the way? Do you two know each other? You were drinking together. Uh, I'd introduce you to the guy, but the Daidoji faction wouldn't be happy with me. Hmm? What's I recognize him mean? from his fucking His silhouette. name is Taichi. The boy you raised at Morning Glory? That Taichi. What? Don't start gawking at him. He hasn't clocked you either, it would seem. You should just sit on the other side, man. Hey, don't order another yet. I need a second. Any more and I'll pass out on my way home. It's all right, handsome. I'll watch over you until the morning. Oh, really? You do that? It's not an offer I'd make to just anyone, Tai-chan. But I feel safe with you. Oh, that's really great. Yokohama girls are the best. To be fair, he's of legal drinking age. Back in Okinawa, he works as a fireman. Yeah! Oh, yeah! I can't believe it. Fireman's That's like the most noble profession What's that fucking doing? exists! I heard he was visiting a friend in Tokyo, so I rang him up. Offered to take him around Yokohama. Not like I was ever that close to the boy. Couldn't think of any better place to go than here. <laughs> Jinsho women sure can work wonders on men like him. <laughs> Doubt he even noticed I left. What's the meaning of all this, Date-san? He's supposed to think I'm dead. Yeah, but... Why would you invite me somewhere he could spot me? So that you can because see he's doing if fine, he doesn't man. realize who he's looking at, there's no problem. Hmm? That's why you and I are keeping our distance. Much as I'd like it, I know... You can't speak directly. I still thought seeing him like this would be better than never seeing him at all. <sighs> Date-san... <laughs> You've always been too stubborn to look backward. Tell me, how does it feel? Would dying have been easier without this memory? Don't your kids warrant a spot on your list? <sighs> I I'd heard about him becoming a firefighter, you know. I, I still keep tabs on all of them, but... I never planned on seeing them again. I couldn't even risk hoping to. Hmm. That's why we're here. This is my unfinished business. You've gone through life telling yourself you have no regrets. It's not true. You just refuse to acknowledge You them. have tons of regrets. And if there's anyone still breathing in this world who could convince you of that, I suppose it's me. Date-san. <sighs> I know. When the Daidoji helped you fabricate your death, I went along with it. And it cost you everything. Haruka and Haruto. A life cut off from the people you love. I replay those events over and over in my head, wondering if I could have changed the outcome. It was my responsibility. My death was the only thing that could have ensured their safety. Dante-san, you have nothing to blame yourself for. Either way... That was a long time ago. Maybe now I could make a difference? Maybe? Mm hmm? Hold on. Who are they? Oh, I'm not sure, actually. Hey! Why are all the girls hanging out here? Send some to our table! Very sorry, sir. Dude. We'll address he, this at once. A, he's a firefighter. He's better? We're paying customers too, ain't we? <laughs> he, I apologize, you, you don't. everyone. I didn't know I'd be so, so the model's not here. showing it, but if he's a firefighter, he's like de facto fit and ripped. Drink with anyone he's else. also a hero. You mean it? Piss off, you dumb fucking tourist. You really think you're hot shit? Damn it. Might have tipped those girls too well. Wanted Tai Chi to have a good time, you know. This is dangerous. Everyone's too drunk. Hey, you're being very impolite, aren't you? Calm down, and someone will join you soon. In Chicago, firefighters have to be able to climb the Sears Tower by stairs in one go. What? How many floors is that? Whoa, whoa! What the hell? You can't do that. 
never hit a woman. Respect hey, women. Don't be a fool. As long as Tai Chi's there, you can't 114? Yeah, I couldn't do that. Unless I really wanted to. I could probably do that. All yeah. night's ruined now. I'm gonna discipline this chick. Bro, you're gonna die. No! Huh? <gasps> That's enough. You make me sick. The hell? Daichan! You... You're dirt, punk! You wanna discipline her, huh? Learn some discipline yourself. Huh. Well, I'll be. Who would have thought Tai Chi had it in? He's full of surprises. Not so fucking fast! Ugh. Hey, shit dick! Nobody likes a guy who hogs the tits! Titan, oh, are you okay? Please get up, please! <sighs> Excuse me, that's quite enough. Leave it once or I'll call the police. Shut your mouth! This is your fault, scumbag! This ends right now. Or I'll pay you back for Taichi ten times over. <sighs> oh, shit. Uncle. Is it really you, Uncle Koss? No, nah, man, you're drunk. Uncle. <sighs> Hands off of me! Everybody has a death wish tonight. Whole world's been shitting on me. Now, I'm gonna shit on all of you. I do like how it's gonna turn out. Is that it feels like a ghost Bring it on. came to save him. I'm on a roll. Let's go. You know. By the way, Gene, you're, you're in VIP. You should be able to just talk. I won't push back. That won't stop. That's my own. Yeah. It's hardly a fair you fight. Really? You're just oh. cosplaying as a normie? Oh, damn luck. Can't do that here, bro. This is supposed to go like this. Will it be all right? Huh? Oh, um, well... Sleeping like a baby. He's more drunk than he is hurt. Maybe we overdid it a little. <laughs> He's fine. Sir? He's gonna make a great firefighter. Boy's in good shape. Hell. He's a grown man. <sighs> tai Chi's gonna wake up before too long. You should leave. We'll catch up. I'll stay behind and try to clean up this mess. Thanks. That's so sweet. Uncle Goss! Hey, rise and shine, kid. What a night. Oh, um, I'm real sorry. I, uh, I remember there was a fight. Somebody came and defended me. Somebody? You mean was Kiryu here? Huh? Joking. You were calling out for him, Tai Chi. Uncle Kaz, Uncle Kaz, you said. Uh, really? Weird. Guess I was dreaming. The good news is you held your own. Protecting that girl of yours. He did not hold huh. his own. Not every man is the sort who'd do that, you know. Even if they wanted to. Actually, that's my trick when I need to be brave. I think about what Uncle Kiryu would do. When I remember the way he was, it's like... I can shut down any fear inside me. You don't say. That's a pretty clever technique. Should give it a try myself. Yeah, sure. It always works for me. Oh, man. <sighs> this place good? Kanagawa PD contact recommended it to me. Order one drink, sit as long as you like. From now on, consider this my Eugene Show hideout. Hmm. So you mean... I think I'll stay around town for a bit. You know, stay on top of that bucket list of yours. Taichi's little night out was only the start of it. I've got calls going out all over Yokohama. Stop. 
You realize that if the Daidoji faction catches on, we'll both pay. Yeah, well, who cares? Shut up. <laughs> they haven't objected yet, have they? Not even Taichi knows you're still out there. Trust me, the fearsome Daidoji faction has nothing to worry about. You're testing them. Look, I realize I'm taking a risk here. But when it comes to your final days, I don't care. Nothing you say is going to stop me. If Daidoji has a problem, they know where I am. <laughs> so then, Taichi stir anything in you? Do you regret what happened tonight? Because I saw your face just before you left. The way you looked at that proud young man. You have ties to this world. They don't disappear when you turn your back. <laughs> You're not wrong. Dragons don't have the luxury of dying forgotten. Taichi remembers you. People remember you. Kazumu Kiryu never walked the easiest path, but the steps he took always bore fruit. You have the responsibility to reap the harvest you've sown. I've never been more certain. I'll call you again. Kasuga and all that is important, but take some time for yourself, too. Gorsh, Kiryu. No. Thank you. I don't have the words. I'll never forget what you're doing for me. Taichi and the others. I thought maybe I'd been able to let go. That even if I never saw them again, I'd be fine. No, man. But when I heard his voice with my own ears, when he was right there in front of me, who knew I'd be so happy? I certainly didn't. That's more than you need to say. Now I've got quite some work to do. I'm gonna smooch the hell of that baby when I get back home. I'm gonna smooch his tummy. As he raises awakening, he'll trigger lifelinks with Date and his other old friends. They can be initiated by speaking with Date and Harbor Light after he receives a phone call. Oh, weird. Sorry for the wait. All good. Do you get to chat with your friend? Yeah. Our talk made me realize something important, actually. Oh, yeah? Glad to hear. Where to next? Huh? Okay. Who messaged me? Something in the matter? Is there somewhere I need to be? Am I tagging along? Let's go! Restaurant row. Okay. Men would rather save the Tojo clan than go to therapy. Oh, man. This one is Haruka. What if it's Daigo? Then I will fucking kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dumb Dio, those fucking Command and Conquer games are incredible. What the fuck were you thinking? Oh my god, you have to stop. You all have to yeah. stop. Let's do it. Alright. Let's take a look. Essence of that dragon god, shall we? Time to shut it down. Feel that heat. Oh. Oh! Hey. 
can just manifest Seryu? Bro. Excuse me. I will have to be right back. Excuse me.
let's go. Sorry about that. There was a fat dog that needed to pee. And Paige is currently baby trapped. And that baby sleeping so she can't be a moving. It's just how it goes, man. The baby falls asleep on you, you are locked down. You're going nowhere. So, am I gonna have to grind out those soul levels? I feel like I should be able to get like most of the way there from like regularly playing the game. Switching jobs to spec downing enemies for the different defeat X enemies in a job is a good way to do it. Okay. What are my thoughts on CNC4? I've never played it. Have fun with this. I didn't hear good things though. Right. What thoughts do I have? I've never I've never played it. It's my turn. 
Think Pat has thoughts? I mean, I've, ne I've never, I've never, I've never, I've never played it. There's no way to fight. Doing better than I thought. What I think about Jack and Daxter? A second game's all right. That second game is all right. Hey. Got something to take care of real quick. Mind waiting for me? No problem. You sure you'll be okay on your own? Wants to tag <laughs> along? It's fine. I'll be back before you know it. Mm. You better. Wonder what's up with him. Who knows? That message said they'd be waiting here. <laughs> Been a while, Cosmic Hear You. Clan believes they're the strongest in the world and is made up of skilled fighters. We've clashed countless times, as long as I can remember. They kept hounding me to fight, saying that me being a legendary dragon hindered their clan clan's claim to strength. You haven't forgotten about us, have you? How could I, when you're this persistent? How'd you know I was back? After your retirement, we targeted Ichiban Kasuga, who had been making a name for himself as the new dragon. But while we were keeping tabs on him and his flunkies, you showed up right out of thin air. Surprising, really. The thing the dragon would resurge. Couldn't keep yourself away, could you? Crystal got here after playing every game, including Ishin, and somehow missed Amon every time. Oh my god. Not quite. I didn't return because I wanted to. Not to the same of your business. Why, of course it is. In the past, you've insulted the Amon clan time after time. The fact remains that you're but a thorn in our side. If you intend on making a comeback, we won't let that slide. Besides, having you roam the streets in your weakened state, guarded by your allies, only tarnishes our reputation. <laughs> Feels like talking to a wall, just like old times. Here you, son. Didn't I tell you guys to wait? Sorry, we were just worried about you. Who's he? This guy picking a fight with you, Kiryu? No need for Kiryu to bother with him. If he wants a beating so badly, he'll have to go through all of us. So these are your little friends? How weak you become, Kiryu. You once shouldered everything yourself and fought alone. Think you'd have allies looking after you now. You think strength means not relying on others? Well, putting your trust in somebody else takes real courage. Quit shoving your ideology down people's throats. Keep running your mouth about Kiryu, and I'll show you no mercy. Interesting. Let's see how far the mighty dragon has fallen. Really? Bro, we got no chance. Together. We only need one shot. Ah, you're weak, Cosmo. Too weak, physically and mentally. Is this all you got? I told you. I'm not the same man I was before. What a bore. Here, how about this? Say so kill one of your precious comrades without awakening your What'd old you self. Say? What? The clan's line of work is assassination, you know. It'd be easy for me to sacrifice as many lives as it takes to revive the legendary dragon. Don't you dare lay a hand on them. <laughs> Looks like you do have some fight left in you. 
It's time you take this seriously for your allies' sake. I guess some things never change. Show me your true strength. These bonds of yours are made out of. You better. If you want to protect your friends. Oh, come on. You're such a jerk! I'll let you guys Show me what you got. Dragon's Resurgence. When his hype meter is full. Here you can re... Is this what I think it is? It is! It's really funny that I did all the side content before getting here. Why is that? Uh. Kamaki's easier with this? Oh, I bet. I'll let you hurt him. <laughs> that hit just now. Felt just like the ones from the past. Left a mark too, no doubt about it. Looks like the bond you share with your allies is what gives you strength now. Still raring to go? Nah. Leave you be, for now. You were just a geezer on the decline. I would have killed you here and now. But... Still got some growing to do with this bond you and your allies have, or whatever. Call it what you will. Should you develop your bonds and grow even stronger? I'll return to fight you once more. Because you have to do all the side content to fight a mon every area of the game. Oh, yeah, I d Ah! <laughs> I'll be the one to take you down on some illness. I'm sure I'm not alone in this sentiment. Don't you dare forget that. I did it! I recreated how you're supposed to do it! Strength of our bonds, huh? Here you, are you okay? Right. Yeah. You guys? We're fine. Somehow. That was tough. Sorry if you're dragging you guys into this mess. All good. We're used to getting mixed up in stuff. Not like it wasn't any of our business anyway, huh? They mess with our friend, they mess with us, right? Right. Yeah. Thanks. Alrighty then. That takes care of that. Come on, let's get going. Wow, I'm gonna go back to the other uh, party and they are gonna be weak as fuck. Seems I've got tough friends. Friends. Well, we did it. Before I head back, I should buy some new gear and make sure I'm ready. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I see how that is then. Looks like I'm good. Should I change uh, Kiryu's job? I guess I should, now that I've maxed it out. Everybody else is like right there. You know what, I'll just keep it. I'll just keep it as is right now. No reason to change it. If I don't change jobs, I'll have coverage problems. Yeah, but I can change it after this story event. What you get, girl? Wicked web. I'm okay, I guess. All right, let's go take a nap. It's me. Got it. I'll be right over. 
Looks like I'm going to be uh, changing Friday's stream to be earlier in the day. Something came up. I have to return to Gomi Jewel. Will you be all right? Leave it to me. I'll be okay. I'm tired anyhow. So I'm going to take a break. And call it a day. Meet up again later. Roger that. How are they? Like... 10 a.m. to... 3 or 4. Feeling a little worn out. No surprise. Should get some rest. <laughs> Bro, wake up. <laughs> Well, that's not good. Hello? Here you, son. It's Son He. Sorry to bring bad news, but it looks like the Seiryu clan set us up. What do you mean? Here. Check the video. Oh I my you. fucking it was god. Just now by Tatara, oh my popular VTubers. VTuber. Oh my god. Kiryu's gonna get cancelled! What's up, people? Tatara channel coming at ya. As always, we're out to boldly reveal the evils this media's just too scared to touch. The title for today's episode is A Super Big Shot Yakuza Long Thought Dead Suddenly Returns from the Grave? First off, let's take a good oh, look at this photo. Shit. In it is Kazuma Kiryu, legendary Yakuza to some, hardened criminal to others. Known as the Dragon of Dojima and Kamurocho, he was also the chairman of the Tojo clan, the largest Yakuza group in the Kanto area. Seven years ago in Hiroshima, Kiryu-san was shot to death as a result of gang Oh, bitch, I'm gonna kill you. Or so we were led to believe. This video here recorded in Hawaii Wait, is no what? more than a few days old. And if we zoom in to get a closer look... My, my! He looks a lot like Kazuma Kiryu, doesn't he? I mean, they're practically twins! Now, let's continue the footage, shall we? Long time no see, Kasuga. Whoa. Kiryu-san? Is that you? <laughs> Who else would it be? You hear that? The other guy just called him Kiryu. Holy son, he? shit! Does that not blow your mind, people? The dragon is back from the dead. Oh, and we're not done just yet. This footage hides yet another juicy surprise. Did you happen to catch it? Right here. Do you all remember him? Long time no see, Kasuga. It's Ichiban Kasuga whose cover we blew on this channel before. Yokohama's so-called hero. So a long-lost legend is really alive and kicking. Plus, he's pals with Ichiban Kasuga? Oh, bitch, okay. you need to die! What's really going on here? To help shed light on that, I've invited some very special guests for this occasion. You'll be meeting the Underworld's top dogs, currently leading the most powerful Yakuza organization in Japan. Here we go! These gentlemen are in charge of a group called the Seiryu Clan. Thank you both for joining us today. Let's get right to it. Oh, these you two are the, the worst ever. Oh yourself. my god. What do you think? That's him, without a shadow of a doubt. As a matter of fact, he paid a little visit to our office here only yesterday. Which goes to show the man never died. It was an act. That, in turn, leads me to believe law enforcement might have had a hand in this charade. <gasps> You're saying the police helped Kiryu fake Oh, man. Death? How is that even Oh, the possible? kids at Morning Glory, bro! Kazuma Kiryu was the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. And despite their rivalry, he was also the quite kids. close with Chairman oh, Watase bit much of the Omi Alliance. Naturally, he would have had a wide range of support from Japan's underground, being in it all those years. And that's to say nothing of the late Minoru Daidoji, whose cabal still straddles the political and finance sectors. If even one of those groups were to put pressure on the police, well, I'm sure you can imagine they'd comply. But let's move on. Take a look at this footage from yesterday. Kazuma Kiryu again! And sitting across from him, is that...? Yes, that would be the two of us. 
Can you elaborate on what's going on here? Kazuma Kiryu, as you clearly saw in the Hawaii footage, is likely the one pulling Ichiban Kasuga's strings. Oh, man. Now, why, after spending so long in hiding, Holy would he suddenly fucking emerge shit, like this? these motherfuckers. I can only think of one plausible reason. The resurrection of the Tojo clan. He came here just as we'd finished refurbishing the old Tojo clan headquarters, stating he'll use any means to reclaim it. Need proof? The video here should be more than enough to convince you. Oh my god. Wow, That's why he I'm sat in the chair. Safe. What a menace Kiryu is. How can he just be allowed to walk free? Well, he's been officially pronounced dead. It's why the police can't touch him. Still, in an effort to make a difference, we brought this to your attention in hopes that it would help. Oh, now it's all starting to come together. Thank you so Damn much those for this information. Well, everyone, to Tara Channel's on it. And we'll chase Kazuma Kiryu to the ends of the earth. Fear not. This state-protected, privileged class of Yakuza can't run forever. The truth will always win out. Above all, the Tojo clan must not be resurrected. Let's make sure to put a stop to it. That's all for today. And if you spot Kazuma Kiryu, drop me a line. Th <sighs> it's like the most bleeding-edge storyline they could ever do. I'm in fucking awe. Kiryu's son. We got trouble on the internet. It's like <laughs> to Tara again. Damn internet! I guess you are. Oh, know. that damn internet! Son, he just finished telling me. You gonna be all right? Now that your name and face are broadcast out in the open? No, hmm. I'm not sure. We'll see how Hanawa responds. But either way, I don't have long to live. In that sense, it's not a big deal. Don't say that, Kiryu-san. You know. Maybe I ought to give Ebina and Sawashiro a word of thanks. And then some. Seriously. I for one want to know what the I hell I can't they believe a part of this game's storyline is that they doxed you Kiryu. Got their skin yesterday. And this was how they retaliated. I I Hey, didn't Tatara spread rumors about Ichiban too? Something like former yakuza makes a killing by forcing other ex-criminals to steal? He was only doing his job, but the video spun it completely out of context. Right. That channel's known for trying to expose the evil the media's too afraid to touch. And actually, their scoops are mostly legitimate. But why does their information get twisted when the spotlight's on Ichiban and Kiryu-san? Hey, if I knew, I'd tell you. Not only that, why is Ebina bothering to lend Tatara a hand? Yeah, that shit's crazy. Seems pretty out of place for a Yakuza to go on camera like that. Plus, that footage with Kiryu-san was taken just yesterday. Yet they already had a smear campaign prepped and ready? <sighs> nice catch. You gotta oh, get you're here now. Sunhi, did you come running all this way? <sighs> the situation called for it. But this isn't about me. I don't have positive proof yet, but there's a good chance Ebina and Tatara were partners for a long time. Is that right? How long are we talking? At least before any of you even knew their names. How can you be so sure? Why else would Ebina and his lackey go on stream with some VTuber who has nothing to do with the Yakuza? Hmm. Anyone in the position to lead the Seiryu clan would never pull a stunt like that. It's too big a risk I can't for believe one, this is the game story. Like, I'm, I'm just like anyway. in fucking awe. So, here's I'm what slack I think could happen. Ebina might start using Tatara to broadcast any propaganda <laughs> that suits his needs. And that's to 5 million subscribers, by the way. Wow! I'll even take it a step further and say this. Got that platinum button. has been Tatara's major source of intel for everything that's happened so far. Wait a minute. So, Ebina, a leader in the Yakuza world, He's behind the Tatara channel, of all things? What makes you think that, Sunny? Ebina's background tells it all. He used to be one of Tokyo PD's top elites. What? Was he really? And now he's a Yakuza captain. Talk about turning the wrong leaf. What would make him do that? I mean, I don't know money. The particulars. And there wasn't any scandal I could trace it to. Felt like it. But with history like that, I'm sure he's got a wealth of stories the media's never seen or heard. 
Isn't that a fair bit of assumption, What if he though? is Tatara Chan? Sure, but it's not like it's unfounded. Oh, oh you know what? I really hope this he is Tatara Chan. Directly. Right after Tatara effectively cancelled him, Sawashiro goes and sends him to Hawaii. Meaning... Well, I just wonder, had Ichiban been able to keep giving work to ex-Yakuza, would he still have said yes to go in there? So then, Sawashiro wanted Kasuga in Hawaii for his own ends. And for that to happen, Tatara made it so he had to leave his job. The timing was too convenient. Fuckers. Exactly. So what I'm saying is, it's possible Sawashiro's been stringing Oh, man, we along. should kill Joe so that's hard. True, it's not a stretch to say they know more than they let on about Polycana. Man, Joe has really so, just stepped up to be like the most contemptible motherfucker Sawashiro, ever in this series. What would be their next move? Good question. I guess that's the part we're all stumped on. Should we go have yeah, another chat? He's so chat? fucking awful. I would love to, but the situation's changed. One false step, and we'll be staring down every last member of the Seiryu clan. After putting footage like that out there, they're obviously ready for a fight. And if Kiryu-san isn't his usual self, we shouldn't pick a fight we can't win. As much as I hate to admit it, I think you might be right. Okay, then why don't we do this? What? Now that the Seiryu clan opened a branch office, there shouldn't be as many of them back at Ijinsho. Right. So, we should hit their HQ first. Yeah. Figure we might be able to get who's in Do charge. Do the same dungeon again. Nanva, that's actually not such a bad idea. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's go beat their fucking asses. Oh, it's weird that I'm back in the open world considering they gave me like the chapter warning. Ah! Found it. Picture perfect. Got it. Here we are, Kiryu-san. Serial Clan Headquarters. <laughs> there he is! Been waiting for you, tough guy. Holy I'm fuck. I'm here with Man's Vice Journal. Great. What now? Feast your eyes, bros and bastards. You're taking an exclusive look at the most legendary Yakuza to ever walk the streets. Thanks to the Tatara channel, he's the talk of the town once more. Introducing Kazuma Kiryu. Ah, uh, I see what's going on here. They're hyenas lapping up a bigger man's fame. How about you give us an interview, Kiryu-san? Your story's, like, <laughs> incredible. A top dog faking his own death all so he could live in secrecy. How do you feel now that that's out in the open? Any comments? Concerns? Give me something. Out of the way. Oh my god, same exact fucking thing. <laughs> I think I broke a bone. <laughs> no way he got hurt just from that. Talk about bad acting. Yo, did you guys see that? Dude freaking wrecked me! That right there. Oh, hit him. Real. Hit him for real. Inhibited Kazuma Kiryu. No. Yeah! I'm not in the mood for child's play. Just hit him Get for real! My sight. This is the same Kiryu who's sick, right? Oh, what the fuck, man? That shit really did break a bone! Guess what? It's all on camera. Huh. I'm surprised you didn't die on impact. Yeah, so what, dude? The guy's like Hurry historic him, for guys. beating up punks. I'll be right here recording. I even got a killer title. Legendary Yakuza Kazuma Kiryu gets straight up owned on camera. You really want I feel like I'm about to be huh? attacked by like Looks fucking like FPS dog. scared to move a muscle. That's all right. We got ourselves an arrangement. Oh, hey, guys.
Looks like Ebina knew we were coming. First, he spreads lies. You run then faster with the knife. Fun. Everyone knows that. You're right. I Everybody knows that. Colors are starting to show. Right. This pretty much amounts to a declaration of war. And how should we handle this, Kiryu-san? No question. If they want to fight, they've got one. Yeah. Let's go. This Let's beat him down. Let's do it. You're all gonna fucking die. Hmm. Want some? Try to block this. <laughs> got you down. Demily Pyro's rating. Thank you, Demily Pyro. Thank you very much. I'm on a roll. Let's go. You're gonna get stopped. 65. We'll wait a little bit for that. Congrats on the baby, bit late. Yeah, well, I mean, he's still cute. Still a baby. Thank you. Still adorable little babu. Oh shit. That guy in particular. Don't mess with me. I'll take you. Here we go. Here, I'll help. Right. Too bad. Did you really think you'd win? Yeah. Moving up in the world. Hell yeah. What you get, bro? Essence of a big. You said you had an arrangement with the Seiryu clan. What did you mean by that? <sighs> Hard to say. Answer me now, or that bone's going back in its socket. And I can't guarantee you'll like it. <sighs> okay, uh, uh, I got a message from the Tatara channel. They knew about you, said you'd be coming to Seiryu HQ. What? They also said to taunt you and get footage that the clan would protect us. Dude, is did. Ichiban's fucking house Sunday's bugged? Was right. Ebina really has been pulling Tatara's strings. Yeah. And so is his accomplice. They also made Kasuga go to Hawaii. There had to be a reason for that, too. What kind of reason, though? Let me ask what's happening in Hawaii. I've got a contact over there. Who would that be? He probably means Hanawa-san, guy from the Taidoji faction. Oh, are we gonna switch? He's not picking up? Isn't it late at night over there? It could be they're all snoring by now. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna switch. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
hard-headed woman. Meanwhile, back in Hawaii. Where everyone's much lower level. Namba just checked in with me. He and Kiryu-san made it back all right. They're staying at my place in Eugene show while they rest up. Good to hear. So, Kiryu-san oh, should totally be safe him. for the time being. Oh, sheesh, what a day. Akane-san has Lani safe and secure for now, at least. Problem is, finding him. Mm-hmm. Balikana's carving the island bloody searching. Hard to believe she's still out there. Listen, Akane-san won't be able to hide much longer. Shichan, has the channel gotten any comments that might be from her? Sorry. Still nothing. Well, guess ladies her age don't exactly follow what's trending. If she's online, Akane-san should have seen it already. By now, its saturation has peaked. <laughs> Everyone I know has seen it. Hawaii's responsible for most of its views, geographically. I'm not following you. How many views does the thing have? A bit over 50,000 at this point. That's what? pretty good! That's a ton, isn't it? it? It sounds like a ton. Yeah, that's a hit video for sure. Hey, Chan, how do we get so many clicks? Well, I had some AI bots see the link on social media. Honestly, though. Kasuga-san, you're just pretty charismatic. Hey, don't you, like, earn money from ads or whatever? If that many people are watching, we must be raking it in, huh? <laughs> not really, man. <laughs> That's cute. Our video's not even monetized. The channel would need way more subs. Double that view count, and we'd maybe have a hundred yen between us. Yeah, it's no shit, right. huh? Yes, it's not as easy as I figured. It's not! Chichan, it's amazing how you know all it's this. It's really hard! Huh? Ichiban, everyone my age has run these numbers. <sighs> Anyone else feel an agent? So where's that leave us? Akane-san still in the wind? If you could simply locate her, the Daidoji faction is ready to help. We can arrange a flight out of Hawaii at any time. For Lonnie as well. Thanks for that much, I guess. Still, you Daidoji faction guys don't exactly put me at ease. Yeah, you're weird. That's understandable. I'm in the dark as far as my boss's interest in Akane-san is concerned. However... Hmm? This country's proven more than a match for you already. Leave this to the professionals. Unless you've got a better plan to cross international waters. Have you? I'll use a Okay, boat. point taken. But for all your talk, you're no closer to Akane-san than we are. Why not use Palekana's intelligence against them? Your last known sighting of the target was in Night Square. She's not a target, okay? Her name's Akane-san. Night Square, you said? That's your mice territory, isn't it? Yeah, not exactly on great terms with that one. Sure, we should head back there. Seems like we're asking for trouble. But hang on, how long ago is the last known, anyway? A little after they took off, about a week and a half ago. Hmm. Hardly breaking news. You sure about this? You're free to ignore my input. Bear in mind, though, your mice the only force that can keep Polycana at bay. That is true. Yamai and Bryce are still locking horns. Considering how long they've been chasing the woman, it would make sense. This is all assuming she's still alive, of course. My condolence is otherwise. Well, what do you say, Kasuga? With the orphanage a dead end. This could be our best shot. Yeah. I Let's just go kiss is. Yamai. And tell him he is. Dead. But to start, how about we check with that woman at the tattoo parlor? She seemed up on things. Again with her? Seriously. That's how it goes. Search 99 times, find a clue on the hundredth. Uh, yeah, yeah. That said, am I the only one who's beat? All right. Yeah, you're like 7,500 million years old. Oh, by the way, so, um, somebody referenced to me that I called uh, Bryce the White Devil.
when he showed up and was evil. Uh, and people pointed out that his voice actor is the guy who voices Amuro Ray in Gundam, whose nickname is the White Devil, and how that's a funny coincidence. I don't think that's a coincidence. I think that's intentional. We gotta find something on her soon. Okay. Yeah, can't let them get to her before us. Let's talk to that tattoo lady. Oh my god, it's gonna hurt so bad. Bryce's influence has made everybody really tough. I'm apparently a Sujimon scholar. Level 30. Oh. Oh. Goes without saying, probably, but they know our faces now. Bryce has too many eyes and ears for us to let our guard down. Right. Everybody stay close. Don't do anything stupid. We yeah. do so many stupid Just things. have to work together. Same as always. Oh, there. Oh. I'm not allowed to grind. I'm getting a lot of fucking things. Take that, you fucks. <laughs> burning arrow. Hey, look how many people can use burning arrow. Let's go. Don't forget to re-equip each spawn's party. Hey, you're completely right. I completely forgot to equip Ichiban's party. Cloud. Okay, hold up. I need to put my my magic hat on. What secure you got equipped? The lay and the lucky money. Lucky money. I did it. I fucking did it. Somebody said use the uh What you looking at? You'll regret it. Okay, I'm up. Oh, fuck yeah, bees! Oh, yeah, that's a... It's a long trek to your destination. You recommend the Segway? But... But I want the experience, bro. <laughs> like I like like I want I want the experience. You're getting peanuts for XP right now. Time to go all out. Let's go. Oh come on. Surprise. XP is grinded in the haunts. Yeah, but I don't. I haven't played as this party for like a while. I can do this. You know? I won't play as the party. It's like I'm all gay. 
Yay, moths. You wish they had kept the basketball player class? Yeah, me too. Wow, there's a lot of people out here, bro. Oh, yeah, I know there was no basketball people in 7. Ichiban, bad news. Wait. Then how... I have to... I have to go through here. Okay. Aloha! That's, that's fine. That's fine. What you looking at? Basketball player was a cut class, yeah. Meant we could be balling. We could have been balling, gentlemen. I can do this. Surprise. You know, I'm just thinking. Like I'm up. Give me your Grinding in this game might take a little bit of time. It's uh, possible. You know, for the Kiryu stuff. It might take me a little longer than I expected. It won't. It might take... It might take me... A little longer than I expected. I'm probably gonna be really busy not streaming in the next couple of days with life stuff. There they are. Get them. We'll kill you. Oh, we'll kill you! You're ready. I'm <laughs> gonna. Just straight up, we'll kill you. Surprise. Oh my fucking god. Oh, I'm breaking. Oh, see, I guess. Trippy, flippy, floppy, flopper. Trippity flippity floppity floppity. I can do this. Oh, that's interesting. If you <laughs> Condemn says Yakuza. I can't believe the Illuminati are trying to cancel us. He's right, you know. I pre-ordered SMT5 Vengeance for PC, and I'm wondering what you ever thought was better in 5. Chaos Law or Neutral? I played the original release, Stop at Lucifer's Castle. I did not get that far in 5. That being said, uh, Law is objectively the worst path in every SMT game. Law is always based, based on a pile of fucking dog shit. Aloha. I have 400 grand? Holy fuck. I 
Thank you. Any chance for an SMT5 playthrough, man asks as I am looking dead in the camera, explaining how my plan to play three gigantic RPGs simultaneously is running into some snags. It has never been worse than it is right now. In the history of anything. I haven't even bought Unicorn Overlord, and they paid me to fucking play that. Let's go! Yeah, they pay yeah, they they paid me but they didn't give me the full game. Yeah, it was weird. They said just use the demo. The demo's big and I was like I was a little originally really worried. And then like I didn't even finish the demo because it was gigantic. Looks like I'm up. Like that that that's how you solve your code spoiler problem. Just make a big fucking demo. Yes, I'm a fast learner. Hey! Oh, my movement ranges are going up. Yeah, Safe people who are like, don't do now. the fights as I'm leveling up multiple levels over and over. Swarm. Really not a fan of being stalked by every criminal in Hawaii. I mean, we're getting super canceled out here. Did I, inter did I breathe a sigh of relief when I found out that uh, her tree was June 21st? Not really. That's not far enough away. Get ready for this. Okay, I'm up. It's not far enough. Also, it's right next to Dawn Trail. I'm up. Dawn Trails in August. Yeah, that's right next to it. Guys, we don't know how huge Dragon's Dogma 2 actually is. Dragon's Dogma 2 is at least four times larger than Dragon's Dogma 1. Depending on how big Dragon's Dogma 2 actually is, that might be a game that I like. Like, I might use the Wooly Elden Ring situation, where I'm like, hey guys, we'll do story stuff and dungeons and specific quests on camera, but... But, you know... It's like, I didn't do all this off fucking camera. Motherfucker. Where's my grab move? They're kind of ill like fire and ice both. You'll pre-record stuff on, on ca off camera? Yeah, that's possible. That's, that's possibility. Anything's possible, guys. Anything could happen. You can fly. You can believe in yourself and fly. Got you now. Open 
Pat says jump off buildings and fly everyone. Here's funny. Um, that's how I knocked out my front teeth the first time. When I was uh, three, maybe four years old. My, uh, my older brother, who was seven or eight, told me that if I got on top of my big bird play table and put my arms back like a bird, and dove straight forward, I could fly around our basement. And then I just fucking hit the floor face first and broke my two front teeth. Yeah. Akane-san and Lonnie were last seen at Night Square, right? Wong To says as much anyway. Was this before or after? Oh, dude, I have a scar that you can't see anymore going from like here all the way back to like the top of my head from him tossing me around and hitting furniture when I was four years old. The story where I said I was the favorite or whatever was when I was like eight. I can do this. Like that was the weird, weirdest thing of like when I when I told that story on the podcast of me being like a shitheaded little kid, and it's like I literally cannot remember a period in my life in which bad things weren't happening to me because of my older brother. Let's go. Let's do this. So it was actually like very upsetting to see people go like. Oh, Pat's brother's probably a totally normal guy, and Pat just made up all this stuff to feel good about himself. I'm like, people don't invent familial trauma with the level of detail that I have described for goofs. I actually know what some people do, probably, but I didn't. And like it even predates like me. Like my brother when I before I was even born just destroyed all of my sister's Barbies. What? Is that like a like a dragoon jump? When's it gonna attack? I can do this. Let's go. Looks like I'm up. Me too. Let's go. Well, that move go. sucks. Yay. This whole this these fights have a weirdly disproportionate amount of XP. What are you staring at? Yeah, Ad Adachi's gonna get swapped out for Zhao or Junki Han for sure. Hey. More Polycana scumbags. We'll never find a Kane san if they keep creeping up on us. Damn it, Yamai's territory is infested with these guys. Screw it then! Let's give them what they want! Okay. I get your problems here, you're going down. 
I can do this. Go. Surprise. Nice. Go. Oh, just damages everybody, huh? Oh, this is a bard move. I forget what it's called, though. You didn't use the surfer job very much. I mean, it has some good heals. Cool. Bro, we're tired. Not even close. You think you won? I guess they saved the best for last. What's the call? We pulling out? No way. Kiryu-san let this job to us. Run away now, we just embarrass ourselves. That said, I'm starting to hit a wall here. Let's one-shot this creep. What do you say? You guys with me? Just a bit longer? What's that you're spewing? Bastards, I'll slaughter you! We're in this together. Show them what we got! That's just a big dude. Get ready for this! Right, time to throw down! Oh! Of course. Kiryu turns back into his old self. But Ichiban gets all-out attack. That's perfect. Well, That's perfect. You wanna go? Let's do this of course he would. Yeah. Here's what true friends are made of. What? <laughs> Holy fuck. That dude was carrying ten grand. I think I'm getting better at this. Yes, I'm a fast learner. Nice. Hey, who knew I had it in me? Okay, that's got him scattered. You again? Just can't turn down trouble. So. Huh? Oh, listen, Auntie. What are you doing here? Yamai hasn't killed you yet? No, we're friends now. This isn't about him. We came to talk to you. I've got nothing to say to any of you. Ah, uh, you do. At least hear us out. There are two people missing. Look, have you seen them? They were last seen here, about a couple weeks ago. Then Yamai's the one you want to talk to. Yamai's been after them too. He hasn't had any luck yet either. Hmm. Sorry, I don't know him. Now get out of here. This looks like the most the real person I've ever now. seen in my entire life. She doesn't mince words. <sighs> she didn't recognize Akane-san anyway. This is a complete bust. He only just got here. Search 99 times. Well said, Chitose. You'd make a good detective. Fine. Guess we'll just ask around, huh? Yeah, we will, Eric. Kanesan and Lani were here at one point. Maybe somebody saw them. Oh, those guys are all just corpsed out in the middle of the street. Okay, so I'm still locked in, huh? Yeah, I'm still locked in. Yo. Stinky towel. Seen these bitches? Nope. Thanks. Hey, you seen these bitches? Hey. What? Ah. Thanks. Ganja guys were putting that thing. 
Hearing Pat say Eric a lot in this game has been freaking you out. Why is that, Eric? Does it weird you out when I talk about Eric? Sup? Ma'am, you look hot. Have you seen these bitches? I have. Hmm? They stuck out. It was late at night. It was around here. Were they okay? They were clutching each other's hands. Where they go? Towards the theater. Thanks. Huh. It's like when... Oh, hey. What's up? Oh, I'm not cool enough? Oh. Huh. Check out the club boys. They're scouting. Guess they haven't met Quota yet. You mean those mm -hmm. recruiters? Yeah, they, they scope out every girl. They might just be who we need. Huh? Wait. Uh, well, if anybody's gonna have luck with them, it'd be Chicha. Mm -hmm. Maybe. She's coming back already. No dice. Said so they haven't seen any old women. Then they offered me a job. I think they all work for you, mine. Mm. Screw it. I tried to tell you, don't send in Chitose alone against those guys. Oh, where are? What? Oh, hey goons. More Vice's goons. So this is getting old. No matter what we do, they're on top of us. Even if we had a Kane-san, we wouldn't be able to get away. Jeez, Adachi-san, you're right. If only one of us had said this was a bad idea. Tired of your shit, Eric. Shut your trap. What are you dumb shits doing in our part of town? Our part? So you're with your mind? This is his territory, ain't it? Now scram your asses out of here before we kill you. <laughs> this guy. He really lays it on thick, doesn't he? And they're like, fuck you, man. Oh, yeah, oh, that was so dirty. Oh, fuck. You're mine. Thought I threw you out last time. Holy shit. Where's Kiryu? <laughs> Don't tell me he finally kicked it. He's back in Japan. Needed a vacation from his vacation. That's so. Uh, oh, my God. That is Yamai's party. Hold on. Is that actual concern I hear? You've got some. Sense oh my god, of that's humor, so you know. funny. No, come on. Hey, who's on his side here? Yeah, what this? Are we fighting or not? <laughs> this isn't exactly going to plan. What the fuck Gosh, is going on? Word. I'll crush every one of these chumps into putty. I'll hold you to that. Don't disappoint me. Yes, sir. Okay, that's a little more straightforward. Let's this go. does feel like the Anchorman fight. Don't you hold back now. You're stuffing up my house. Whoa! Ooh! Ooh! I can do this. We're doing support characters now. Anybody could be here. Anyone. So fucking stupid. It's like Captain America's football. Oh, man. Hey, yeah, he might join the party. Not this game. Time to go on. But the next one, yeah, that might happen. Prepare yourself. Do your work. Bored out of my skull. Let's go. It's you and 
Oh, I moved too far, damn. He'll never be Majima? I mean, he's not trying to be Majima. He's his own very strange guy. I can do this. Up. Owns. Here I come. Holy fuck. Come up. This must be really confusing for um Let's go. for poor uh, Eric. Right. Cause it's like, Yamai's so evil, I'll never- Oh, I hate Yamai so much. And then it's like, oh, Yamai, we're such good friends, yay. I do remember when he nearly shot Yamai and he didn't give a shit. Yeah! Yeah, samurai move. Did she just get shadow clone jutsu? Thanks for the help, Yamai. Just taking necessary action to defend my turf. You want to show your appreciation? Get the fuck out. We're not leaving, Yamai. You and me, we've got more to talk about. Oh. That's a guy. You just saw what Bryce has been throwing our way. The Barracudas and Ganja are hitting us from both sides. Pain in the ass, right? Yeah. But Akane-san and Lonnie are still missing, and I won't stop looking for them. My sympathies. And that's why I need as many friends as I can get! You could help us out here if you wanted to. Will you? What? Hey, Kasuga, this guy was hunting Akane-san for himself not three days ago. Yeah, but now he be sure, helped. He's he cool. Was. I love him. But once he found out what was up, he called it off. I'm one guessing. Maybe, but wasn't he ready to butcher us all the same? That's fine. We managed to get past that, too. Look, Yamai had Kiryu-san in his clutches. He could have killed him, but he protected him instead. Yamai's not some cheap thug or a mercenary. He's real Yakuza. I love how I'm, like, just realizing that Yamai has, like, darker. messy but I'm not hair, what you're but selling. it sticks straight. You all can throw yourselves into the wood chipper if you want. If I'm lucky, you'll last long enough to weaken them for me to swoop in later. We both know you're no scavenger. Maybe Bryce just frightens you. Oh, you! Shut up, Ichiban! What'd you say? The boss ain't frightened of jack shit! 
That's the best you've got, funny man. No more smooth talking, just cheap shit bait. I love him. I love this guy what? so much. How about I cut his tongue? Oh out? my god, he's the best. You're not gonna do a goddamn thing. You know why? Cause even cheap shit bait can hook a monster. <sighs> oh, he is falling for Jeez. it! You idiot! Huh. I guess I'll be filing my complaint with you later. Sorry, but your mice too important to back down from. All right, no putting it off any longer. It had to come to this sooner or later, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I'm fighting my ass yeah, off in this fucking chapter. God damn it! So cool. Am I serious this time? I can do pulling out all of All right. I'll say. Gotta take out all these goons. Surprise. The goons gotta go first. It's very important that the goons go. Gotta get these goons. What's uh Shadow Dance? Hmm. But only if they're bleeding, huh? Open one! Oh shit. Go back shit! I forgot about the jutsu. Oh, that was still a really good choice. Well, that's just... That's just strange that it's on a regular person. Actually. Most of these goons. Well, this has been fun. Oh my god. Most of the goons are done. Gotta hold it together. I can do this. I believe it's all the goons. Perfect. Wait, two turns in a row? Great. That's pretty good. Holy fuck. So he's okay. He's weak to water. Take that, that monster hunter shit. Oh yeah. I 
That is tough. You're finished. Got it. Oh, but it has the follow up. God damn. It's not too bad, quick quick, best of luck. You are gold. Oh, I can't. There's no way. Let's go. Ready when you are. Everyone beef up. Yeah. Gotta hold it together. Giving up already. Open one. I shall strike you down. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't. Oh, I can't. I can't do anything. Oh, fuck. Bro. Oh, we'll see, I guess. Don't really have many options. Cool. It's up to a dodge yeah, now. Right? Sorry if I messed this up. Hit you? Counter stance, huh? Let's go. You're in it now. Well, I'm waiting. I don't even care. Let's go. Hey, I don't know if I'm up for it. Oh damn, it. there's no way. Get this over with. Yeah. Get him! Let's do this, guys. You got it. Yeah. Here's what true friends are made of. Yeah. Who knew I had it in me? Beat your ass. Am I? Listen to me. I need your help here. You've been getting your way for years because you had the power, right? Well, what happens now that we've beaten you? <laughs> you and I are never gonna be friends. Oh, I don't Got say it. never! But you win. If we find the old woman, we'll keep her here. No safer harbor for her. That woman's name is Akane-san. Aside from that, thank you, Yamai. Got all that? Of course, sir. I'll spread the word. I, I just love how he's like, oh, you beat me, and then he just walks it off. Get him on our side, huh? That explains those lame-ass taunts. So I'm gonna walk it off. Yeah, 
Or at least to go down swinging. Can't you even pretend you had a plan? Sheesh. You there. Ichiban Kasuga, right? Yeah. Uh, auntie? Huh? What's up? <laughs> Answer me. You're Ichiban Kasuga, right? Yeah. Come with me. Oh my god, it was her. This is so hey, funny. You can talk right here. Do whatever you want then. What the hell? Tommy, what's the deal with her? How am I supposed to know? Still, you should probably go hear her out, right? Rude to turn her down. <sighs> You're right. Let's see what she's got to say. I'm. Oh, man. Yamai and Ichi have, like, just massive, like, enemies to lovers energy. I realize there's, like, almost no restaurants in this part of the fucking game. A lot of takeout. Liberty! Hell yeah! Um. We're gonna go to Onaga. Good time to check night only sub story. I I'm going to continue. Sub sub stories are for they're for off camera Aloha. now. The whole purpose of the schedule is go go fast. Oh. Go fast. Great. Thank you. Wait, I think I can do Chitose's thing now. Guys, please, I'm so busy. Hey, get over here. Wait, I thought. <laughs> Oh. Really? Talk to Chose at Revolve. Head to Slay at night. Head to Ocean Boy. Okay. We can do the kiss parts. With the boys. Kiss part. Huh? Well, there's only one. Wait, is Adachi's in Japan? Evening and sunset. Evening and night are different? Weird. Weird. Oh, well, we'll go do Tomy's. Oh, Aloha What's Beach is back about? to being dangerous, huh? Weird. <sighs> Whew. That is one hell of a trek. Take a breather. I'm gonna kiss him. Damn near walked the whole island tagging along with you. I miss my taxi. Hey man, karma's a bitch. Oh, I know it. But it hasn't been all bad. It's like this town kind of seems brand new when I look at it through your eyes. There's a new surprise around every corner. Real? I feel the same way. I don't know left from right out here. But I feel at ease with you and Chichon by my side. First impressions kind of sucked, but in the end, we become pals. Funny the way things turn out. That's thanks to you. For anyone else, I doubt we'd be chumming it up over coffee. Not that I should talk. You're one of a kind, Ichiban. Oh, no kidding. Well then, from here on out, I can't disappoint. <laughs> oh. What kind of tricks do you have up your sleeve? Hmm, well, let's see. Why don't we start a band? You like music, don't you, Tommy? Band? With you? You bet! The Kasuga Ichi Band! Oh, you can be the vocalist since you're a good singer. Oh my god. Okay. Then 
And what would oh, you do? Oh my god. Oh, I, I just realized the only instrument that I play is the recorder. <laughs> well, I think that counts. <laughs> At least we'll stand out. Hopefully in a good way. Let's get together and raise some hell. Time flies when I'm talking with you. Maybe because I can say shit unfiltered. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with a little discretion, no? <laughs> not that I've ever used any. Why am I not surprised? Anyway, let's head out. Wow, look at that sunset. Oh, I see it all the time. It's never hit me like this. Wow. That's sunset gorgeous. over the ocean hey, seems cool. Why don't we take a pic? Title it, Our Beautiful Sunset Memorial. Such a dumb name. But whatever. Yeah! That came out pretty good. Our next pick should be the Sunny Sunrise Memorial. How many memorials are you planning to make? Yay! Kissing on the Tomazawa. Alright, back to you, Mike. Guys, please. Please, you can't. I can't do all of Kiryu sub stories and all of Ichi. Like, I can't. I literally can't. So, what do you want to talk about outside of the money dimension? Let me be absolutely sure. You reached Bon Kasuga? Yeah. Yeah, I told you. And why are you searching for those two in the photo? Huh? These two? Well, the older one, Akane san? I think she might be my mom. Huh. Huh. Except, now it turns out the whole Hawaiian underground's after her. Even Yamai only recently called off his shirt. <clears throat> Sir, shirt, 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 search. Her life's in danger. That's why we gotta get to her, and fast. And you're one more criminal on her trail. What would you do if you actually found her? Plans to get her to Japan. We have people that can move her safely. Oh yeah? Uh-huh. Look, what's your deal, lady? Oh! Be straight. Do you know where she is or not? If I do, huh? seriously, you better not be jerking us off here. What'd you just say, boy? How old are you? Oh, j <laughs> I, dude, when when Japanese characters to show their like upper classness throw in random French shit, it's so cringe. It's so cringe. I'm cringing. Huh. At least one of you has some manners. Okay. Please, we gotta find her. The information won't be free. Ten grand. Huh. What? All Hawaiian underground. He said, that's worth a pretty penny. You stupid old. Or walk away. I'll see if the gang's got me a better Please. deal. You haven't offered this to anyone else, have you? Huh. <laughs> No, congrats, you're the first. Miss, you really don't want to take this to those guys. Gangs here don't negotiate. They're more likely to torture the info out of you. Not even how good. So, hold on. 10,000? That's a lot, but it's not like six figures a lot. It's doable okay. then? Yeah, absolutely. Whoa, come on. You're not considering it, are you? It's a risky bet, I know, but shit. We're out of options. Scrounging up that cash will take time. It's our best chance. Fine, huh. let's go to work. Before anyone asks, I can't use my name for loan. All the banks know I'm no good. Yeah, I figured. We'll find a way. Dude, I have like four... I have like $80,000 right now. Okay. Well, well, you bring the money? Okay. Yeah, it's here. Huh, look at that. <laughs> what, you surprised? I told you. That's our end of the deal. Time to hold up yours. One question. <sighs> what is it? You were right that if I took this off to the gangs, they'd torture me. Why didn't you try to threaten me out of it? Look, we may be in a race to, with the bad guys, but <laughs> let's just say I want to be able to look Akane in the eye without knowing that I messed up some old woman to find her. I mean, I considered it, you know, for like a second. <sighs> 
You tried. She'd have beaten you senseless. Tomorrow night, docks near Harbor Street. Huh? Is that it? You'll see for yourselves. Yeah. Now go. Docks near Harbor Street. Well, we got it. All right. Let's go take a nap. Nap time. Time to go to Revolve. Have a nap, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Everything's... Check the map for smooches. You're right. There are no smooches on this map. Dude, I really can't stand the time of day system in Yakuza. I, I cannot stand it. It's one of the things about the game that I, I hate. But it's only become a problem since I've started to stream them, to be fair. Otherwise, I just do everything as it, as it occurred. Excuse me. Gift. I don't like it. And you only get control in the post game. That means there's the possibility that like I get to the like good spots for the stream and then I just can't do certain sub stories. Yo. Well, it's after dark. Mm -hmm. Go to the meeting. Where's Chi Chan? Good question. Damn it. Sorry I'm late. Dangerous walking around alone. Said I was sorry. Huh, that's good. <gasps> no. Did hot lady betray? No, you can't do that. You're hot. Oh, God. God damn it. God damn it, monkey weed. God damn it. God damn it. You motherfucker. I completely fucking forgot about mirror face. Fucking mirror face. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh god damn it. God, the story could do anything. It could do anything now because of mirror face. Anyone could be mirror face. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just sand in my eye. Don't rub it. It'll scratch up your cornea. Oh, it's so irritating, though. I, I can't stand this. Uh, stop. Just leave it alone and your tears will flush it out. Hmm. So, if we get him crying, will it help? <sighs> Couldn't hurt. Hey, Kasuga, you mop-headed twerp. Don't you get bent, chicken shit? Are you ten years old? <laughs> What'd you say? Who's a chicken shit? You can't be serious. Oh, hey, it's out. <laughs> Thanks, Adachi-san. <laughs> Don't mention it. Glad you both got that out of your systems. These guys are the best. Oh, God, I had to go the other way. Oh. Fucking mirror face. Oh, my God. Gene, what the fuck are you doing in here? Hey, you there. I mean, hey, Gene, what's going on? I thought you'd be busy today. Time to go all out. Looks like I'm up. Sure, I'll play with you. Here I come. Yeah. Oh, you're playing the character creator in Dragon's Dogma. That's cool. That seems cool to do. Everyone loves the character creator in Dragon's Dogma. It's I showed the characters that I made earlier uh, today on today's stream. It was very enjoyable. I'm up. I can do this. 
Come on. <laughs> let's go, let's go. rat. I like that. I saw somebody, um... Yeah, somebody in the chat mentions they saw a... Kratos that they had made, and boy, they got so much closer to Kratos than you would have expected. I did see Timothy Calamite also, and Bully Maguire. Wow, a dark part of the beach. Weird. Oh yeah, just sitting in the rain, getting drunk. Pitch Nothing black like ocean. To go with some wine. Makes it taste even better. You sure look happy, Adachi san. Heck yeah, I am. Always better to live happy, am I right? Now you're winning in life as long as you're having fun. That's right. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, come to think of it, I've been to all sorts of places ever since I met you. Even took a trip to Osaka, too. Oh, we sure did. Now here we are, two pals, having some drinks in Hawaii. <laughs> We're a long ways from home now. You know, it wouldn't be too far-fetched to call ourselves travel buddies. Well, yeah. Is that kind of an exaggeration? Nah, we just gotta make it happen. Let's go on even more trips. All of us. Yeah! Paris or, ooh, New York would be great. Any places you want to visit? Me? Uh, I don't know. Go with anywhere you want to go, since I can always count on you to liven up the whole trip. <laughs> there you go again, buttering me up. Flattery gets you nowhere, you know. I ain't messing with you though. Honestly, if I got my friends with me, even trekking the entire globe sounds fun. Aww. I guess you're not wrong there. Maybe it's about time to get Koichi Adachi's mystery tours up and running then. Yeah, where the heck are we gonna be going? Hey now, the fun is in the surprise. Or would you rather roll some dice to decide on a destination? Dude, are they talking about the next game? That make me more anxious. Oh, the sea breeze here feels real nice. And the ocean's damn gorgeous at night, too. That makes for a nice photo op, huh? Actually, why don't we take one? You in, or what? What? Uh, me? Yeah, I mean, we're already here and all. Hell, count me in, too. Yeah. Okay, that was a pretty good shot. Maybe we ought to go around taking pictures more often. Definitely. Let's just keep at it and explore where we can. Sounds good to me. Yay. Yay. Uh, looks like it Bro, kiss time. Dude, they should have the next Like a Dragon game take place in Montreal so I can just have a conniption fit and die on stream from a fucking brain aneurysm. Dachi-san. Kasuga, you got some time to spare. <sighs> it's about Akiko-san's shop. I think you could have a word with her. That way I can warn her about the robbers. Right. Yeah, sure. I mean, if I show up out of the blue, I doubt Akiko-san would hear me out. I was thinking you could go in first, be our mediator. If she doesn't listen to what I have to say, then the shop's going to be an Hold easy... Hold on, Sam. Bread Assassin says, Is Montreal goofy enough for all the sub-stories that would happen there? Every story I have ever told you guys in my entire life that is not more than 18 years old happened in Montreal. It is absolutely goofy enough. Mark for those robbers. 
Yeah, if they actually try to break in, then we can pull one over on them and keep it from happening. Besides, when it comes to crime prevention, you're a pro. Damn straight. But if we want things to work out, I need you to get Akiko-san to come around. But not to pile on too much pressure, but we have no other option. I'll be counting on you and your sweet talk, Kasuga. <laughs> Seriously, dude? What sweet talk? Oh, this is it? At long last, Akiko-san's jewelry shop. Finally got to there. Run a business like this in a foreign country. Right? That's why we got to tighten security. Make sure nothing happens. Oh well. Oh. Well, that's pretty good timing. Hey, Kasuga, stay calm and listen. Bridge Four says the Dodonka of Montreal would be a SimCity construction game. Yeah, you'd spend the entire game fixing four potholes and one broken stop sign. And neighbors in the area would fucking suck your dick like it was a miracle. Huh? What's up? Those guys who just left the shop now? They were scoping out the place before, no doubt. Same guys I saw acting shady. Seriously? Oh god, don't tell me. They already struck. What? Oh, Gilroy says the Montreal Construction Mafia almost murdered my dad. I Sorry about that. I'm glad he's okay. What now? I'm going to check out the situation inside. Mind stalling him for me? There's a chance they snatched some jewelry. Wait, how am I supposed to do that? Oh, shit. No time to think. Time to do. Yo! Sup, my dudes? Got a sec? Uh, so, get this. I heard a real disturbing story around these parts. Apparently, some robbers are targeting the local jewelry store. Jonathan LP says, what the fuck, there's a Montreal construction mafia? Okay, so let me be really clear. Um, every crime syndicate in every city in the entire world is involved in construction. Construction is like one of the easiest uh, types of professions that you can scam and steal and scrimp and save and just like the 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 capacity for theft and fraud is is infinite and it's a place that you can give a bunch of guys legit jobs that they never show up to so there is always always the mob of whatever whatever mobs you got in construction the difference with montreal is that Montreal's climate and its situated space as a as a an island surrounded by a gigantic river and the fact that the city is one of the oldest in the in North America means that it has to account for an unprecedented amount of upkeep and construction which means there is way more construction for the mob to get involved in What are you trying to say? My friend said he saw some real suspicious guys just now. Over at the shop you just left, actually. You think that's true? Are they Italian? Did no, you? they're French. They're, uh, they're, they're the bikers. Did you see anything strange primarily. back there? Get back. They're the Hells Angels. Norm, let's book it. Mom oh, Bouchard still runs second. it from jail. What do we have here? What's with all those bags you're carrying? Huh? I you moved, uh, I moved, uh, jewels in there. I moved to, uh, Would the you? suburbs yes, who the hell because Mom Bouchard Kasuga, blew up the, the convenience Catch store him. on, uh, on it my corner. Awesome. And my dad was Roger like, all right, that. that's enough. What's with these guys? How's Akiko-san? They had her tied up, but don't worry. She's safe now. Great. Now it's our turn to stop him from running away. I'll kick you down and uh, you're going down. Yeah. Whoa, that's a robber. Take your screw you. Oh, okay, well we I did it. Right on. Here's what true friends are made of. Good fight. Good fight, everyone. Oh, Interesting. Let's go. Let's go. go down. All right. 
You may have guns, but can you deal with being tackled by a 70-year-old man? And then stabbed? I mean, I don't know, man. The story you just told was like, oh, it was an exaggeration that they almost killed my dad, and then you described a story in which your dad was almost murdered by mafia people. I mean, that's, I mean, that's, I don't just, it doesn't sound like you exaggerated that at all. Like, I remember I had a friend of mine who, um, his brother ran Club Orchid, and, um, I was like, what's that like? He's like, it's really cool. My brother lets me go hang out there. And, um, and there's always hot girls at the club, blah, blah, blah. Um, the only thing that's annoying is that when my brother has to step out, sometimes I have to give the guy the envelope. And I'm like, what? What guy? What envelope? He's like, well, there's a guy who comes in on Fridays and he wants his envelope. Um, and you give him the envelope you and you don't talk police. to him. They said they'll be here soon. And he just comes in All and goes, right. where's the envelope? And you hand him the here. envelope and he leaves, oh. but he's really scary. Uh -huh. Um, yep. That's and I'm like, is that, is that, oh, is that like a criminal? What's in the envelope? And he's like, I, he well, goes, I think it's money. Something like that. Um, I don't know who the guy is. I don't talk to him. <laughs> and that's his son. Has to go, son. Thank you so much for what you did. And I'm like, ah, that seems kind of scary. He's like, yeah, it's, it's not great. No need to lower. But your girls head. are hot at the club, though. I'm just glad you're safe. Like, oh, really? That's all that matters to me. But I was awful to you, all because I held a grudge over something that happened decades ago. I knew the police did what they could. I knew, but I could never accept it. Not with how things turned out. Yeah, you don't want to know that guy's name. I guess name. no matter how many signs point to a crime, there's only so much you or can do. Or remember what he looks like. I wouldn't be so sure about that. See, Adachi-san here has his own agency now. Huh? Adachi Investigative Services, it's called. <laughs> Lame-ass name aside, he's actually an expert at crime prevention. God, the fucking you hand. I completely fucking forgot. To their security to keep folks from shoplifting. He's basically a consultant who gives you tips Not the uh, uh, accent you're expecting, you why transatlantic? Really, now? Hey, what's with because she's an immigrant. Kasuga. It's only gonna put her on the spot. She's been running a jewelry oh, store no. for decades it's in a foreign fine. country. I was right there she with likely him. Likely spent a lot of time learning how to speak up. English perfectly. I always wondered what got him so motivated. And decided to fake oh, okay. a professional accent. Now it's finally coming together. The reason he's been working so hard, it was to face his regret over being unable to help you and your parents at the time. Even though you told the right people, the police, they still couldn't act when it counted. Time passed, and now here he is, in charge of an organization that can finally make a difference. Well, at least that's how I see it. Yeah, I should have figured you'd spout off a bunch of BS. Not in front of the person it's about. Come on. Hmm. Could it be there's a hint of truth in his tale? <laughs> well, I mean, lots of former officers go into this kind of field. It's nothing special. Is that right? When you're a cop, you come to realize there are going to be times when you won't be able to save someone. Hmm. I can't get me, that fucking tweet out of my of fucking head, people. dude. I am so sorry I couldn't help you that time. Like, I can't, no, like, don't be. every time Please Adachi stop. mentions that he's a cop now. or something like that, <laughs> all I can think of is like, oh, other. so you hate cops? So, well, without cops, who's going to come to your apartment yet? after you've been robbed seven hours late yeah, and shrug their shoulders? I don't think I've ever been happier in my whole life. To me, you're someone I can't <laughs> ever thank enough. I owe you so much. Words can't describe how grateful I am. Again, thank you very much. Every single much. time I've ever any I've known anyone in my entire life that was like, "Yeah, my shit got stolen." I called the cops, and they were like, "And they were like, okay, we'll let you know if we find it." And then you ask them, "Do you ever find it?" And they went, "No." Isn't that great, Adachi San? Like, cool. Adachi San doesn't resent you anymore. <laughs> it sure is. But everything that's happened only made me realize that I actually do miss running my own business. It reminded me of how I felt when I first considered starting one. 
Yeah, well, did you look? No. Case, what? After we're back in Eugene show for good, how about giving it another shot? <laughs> Get a dodgy investigative services back on its feet. I don't know. It's just... You think... You're doing everything you can to help me out. That's why next time, I'll be sure to return the favor. If there's anything I can do, just say the word. Well, only if it's cool with you. Unbelievable. You're willing to go that far for me? Yeah, dude. Seriously, though, how about it? I mean, you were so fired up starting out. And now I know why you were so motivated. So... All right, Kasuga, enough. I get where you're coming from. I'll remember every little thing you just said. So don't go forgetting it later. Like, I even right? have, like... Hey, like know I, I've known now? people whose Not family like was police officers and True. by Thanks, and large bro. if I'm friends with them and they're cool then their parents are as cool as they can get considering but constantly bitch about their co-workers being useless and horrible like any job I did it. All right. Let's go do something probably really dramatic. <sighs> Die cow crunch. That is a weird. Pl I did not expect you to go into that that particular place. Saying I have cop friends. They are all horrible. But they're cool to you because they're your friends, right? Oh. That oh. is great. That means my plate. Thank you. Hey, isn't that guy a massive piece of shit? Yeah, but he's my piece of shit. Yeah, I know that feeling. It's been my life experience that so somebody says you shouldn't you shouldn't be uh, the friends with those friends. It's it is difficult to judge people on their friends when you don't know what their life situation is. Amcha says Oh man. Here's a fun one. Amcha asks, are Canadian cops as fucked up as American cops? No. They're right. fucked up. Like, I'm from Montreal, where they just love to just beat students. Um, and, and, you know, arrest black people. Um, but let me tell you a story. For Aliens Colonial Marines, we wanted to do a skit. In which, um, we, we had fake guns and helmets and pretended to be army people. And um, the we did it behind my apartment. And uh, somebody in my apartment building called the police. And the police showed up with like, oh man, it was like at least, it was 10 to 15 cops. And they were ready. And there was like, I remember seeing like, there was one uh, like aggro cop in the back that was like bald and had no neck and was just like a pile of muscle. And he looked like he was like gonna burst out of his clothes. Um, and, um, Still good to go. Wooly, Matt and I all had, oh shit. All had fake Nerf guns that we had spray painted entirely black. And it was like 8 p.m. so it was dark. And um, the two youngest cops walked up to us and just went, so what are you guys doing? Uh, <laughs> um, and we started to explain what we were doing. 
and they're like, that's really stupid. So somebody called us, and you scared the shit out of them, and you see we brought all of our, our guys. That's really stupid. And you were like, yeah, you know what, in hindsight, that's stupid. And then they spoke with Wooly, like one of the guys spoke with Wooly, like, a little longer. And, um, was like, I, he didn't pat him down or anything. But he did, I remember him saying something along the lines of like, eh, you know how it is. Sorry, man. And Wooly seemed, I did, just like, eh. Um. And then they left. Were the cops all white? Oh yeah, absolutely, every single one. And then they left. And then we were all like, wow, that was stupid. Now, I, I don't, I don't live in the United States. So I cannot, um make this judgment but i feel like if you if if an american police officer showed up to a fucking report of suspicious persons with guns and saw me woolly and matt walking in the dark in an alley with our spray painted black guns we would probably have been shot So, like, the, the, the story... Yeah, I saw that acorn, bitch. What a pussy. What a big, fat, fucking stupid pussy. That fucking acorn, bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I don't usually... I don't usually even talk like that. But I'm just so outra... Like, what a fucking little bitch. Holy shit. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you can just go look up Acorn Cop. She's not here yet, huh? But she took the money and played us like the dumbest assholes on earth. I keep that annoying voice down. You scared the shit out of me. I thought you were a ghost. Lady, we've done everything we asked. Where is she? First of all, here. Here's your money back. Hmm? This is the ten grand we paid you. Not so hard up that I gotta exploit the dumbest assholes on earth. Huh? Then why the hell we get here? Haven't you heard of putting your money where your mouth is? Just a little test of mine. <laughs> Guess I appreciate you being careful and giving it back. Get in. Going on a field trip. A field trip. A boat. Yeah, you lady. They're hiding out headed? on a boat. The sun's going down. Of course they Whatever, are. Whatever then. I'll just sit here. Use the shut eye. We're here. We are? Uh, what? Excuse me. What do you mean we're here? Yeah. It's the middle of the ocean, lady. Oh. Bursting for a piss, too. Don't you dare pee in my boat. Dude, you're in the ocean. Just pee off the side of the right fucking there. boat. See it? You can't find Akane hey, on Here land if she's not in Listen. Hawaii. Huh? Okay. Right now, we're short on faith, but shorter on time. Trusting you is a gamble. For your sake, don't let me regret it. I'm not sure I get you. But when someone bets big on me, I pay off. Well, that's a good line. That's good. <laughs> Hope so. I'm pregnant now. Hey, how about you talk straight with us? Best place to hide a tree's the forest. Here, we've got something better. We keep precious cargo at sea. Huh? No kidding. Son? 
Oh my god, she looks just like him. I suppose I should say hello. Ichiban Kasuka-san. Now it makes sense. Hiding out on the ocean. Rice was scouring the city, but they were never there. And you, you were the old woman's contact this whole time. Yeah. You watch your tongue talking about her. When she was a Palekana volunteer, she did a lot of good for people. You don't want to find out how far I feel like we skipped a step getting back her. here. <sighs> so this is who Bryce is tearing up the island for? It's okay. Introduce yourself. Nice to meet you. My name is Lonnie. Dude, that My sounds so about. much like Haruka from Yakuza 1. It's nice to meet you too, Lonnie. Thank you very much. Which means... You're Akane-san, aren't you? Hmm, that's right. Akane Kishida. I appreciate all you've been through. Just for my and Lonnie's sake. I'm very sorry. Hey, everything we did was our choice. Yeah, you had nothing to be sorry for. Besides, you're Kasuga's mother, aren't you? We'd have followed you into hell itself. This is so awkward. Your boy here knows how to inspire folks. <laughs> I'm so very sorry. How troublesome must it be to have an old woman interrupt your life, claiming to be your mother? To be honest, it still hasn't sunk in. I, uh, I'm not really sure how to process all this stuff. Don't worry. That's a very normal response. Sawashiro-san knew that I was being selfish, reaching out to you. I had to beg him before he'd do it. <sighs> Still, thank you for finding me. It's good to meet you. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Um, Akane-san, it is okay to call you that, right? <laughs> of course it is. She did ask, Joe. There's a lot we should probably talk about. But right now, your safety is top priority. Yeah, now that we're back on land, who knows when Bryce might sniff us out. Say, Lonnie, have you ever been to Japan? Mm-mm. Okay, well, Akane-san's gonna take you there, all right? It's colder than it is here, but the food's great. It is, it's very good. If we go there, Akane will be safe? Yeah! Akane-san can rest easy, and you won't have to hide anymore. It's true. Japan's a nice place. Okay. Then, let's go. All right. We should get moving. Thankfully, the Daidoji faction's here. Oh, We've got no. got a lot of pull back home. Daidoji? Yeah. They can get you and Akane-san to Japan in a snap. That sound okay to you, Akane-san? Mm-hmm. Kiyo-san and I knew that we could only keep hiding for so long. We'll put our faith in you from here on. Uh, Kiyo-san? Ahem. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> great, great name. It, it suits you. Sorry, we probably should have asked. Don't wear it out. All right, I'm gonna make the call. Hold on a second. Hanawa? Yeah. He said he could arrange a flight out for us. Let's hope these guys are as good as their word. Chitose, everything good? Oh, um, yeah. Don't mind me. Yeah. Make sure it's ready. We'll bring them by soon. Anoa's place is kind of far from here. Think you could get us a ride? The Daidoji safe house is the best spot for Akane-san and Lani right now. I can get you something sturdy, bulletproof, driver to go with it too. Just say the word. You may not know this, but I was a hell of a getaway driver back in the day. You may not know this, but I'm a former cop. How about that? Guess we'll just leave the past in the past for now. <laughs> Don't mind if we do. 
now kiss. This might be the the game I've ever most been in my whole life been like now kiss. You know what I mean? You, you know what? You're right. It does have a lot of no kiss energy. This is the end of the fucking chapter, isn't it? Yep. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. The whole plan is to straight ahead. Like my wiener. Akane-san, mind if I ask something? These people, why are they after the two of you? Well, that's Bryce's daughter. Uh, it's this. It's what Lonnie's carrying. Oh, no! Lonnie, would you show him? Um... It's okay. Kuskasan's someone you can trust. Oh, thank God. A pendant? That's Polycana's insignia. It is. Oh, thank I've God. I've seen this before somewhere. Oh. Before. Bryce was wearing one that looked like that. I Kelly, thought she was, like, Dana, pregnant with fucking Bryce's kind of evil cult baby. They all dress pretty similar, but none of them had a pendant quite like this. No wonder it stood out at the time. This one's unique. It's the sage of Polycana's birthright. It's been passed down through generations since the order was founded. A sacred relic. Truly one of a kind. One of a kind, huh? But that would mean... Right. Therein lies the problem. You see, I met Lonnie only recently. About two weeks ago now, I think. It was late. Close to midnight, best as I recall. The rest of the orphanage staff had gone. The children were all asleep. I'd been catching up on paperwork. Bro, it does not take this long to drive to the, the safe midnight. house. I guess you had a lot of responsibility as director. <laughs> Thanks for saying so, but it's a rewarding job. Anyway, it was around then I heard a knock on the door. And there she was. Lonnie. In all my time at the orphanage, no one had ever come to us like that. Alone. In the middle of the night. Lonnie, what brought you to Akane-san's place? I never had a mom or dad. I grew up with my grandma. But then, grandma got sick. She went to the hospital. They told us she wouldn't get better. I'm really sorry. No, you can't track the route of this cutscene because they're not turning. If she had to leave me, she needed to make sure I'd be okay. She gave me this pendant and a letter and said that in Honolulu, there's a Polycana orphanage I should go to. What was in the letter? It's less of a letter, more of a will, but not from Lonnie's grandmother. It's 70 years old, written by Pollock Hanna's sage at the time. Now that's pretty fucking interesting. What does it say, Akane-san? I've memorized every word of it. If, in the event of my death, Bryce Fairchild is named Sage of Polycana, his claim must be deemed illegitimate and falsely gained. <gasps> 
The rightful sage, as elected by our officers, shall be born only of the Mililani family. To this true successor, I bequeath our most It's actually bounty. Yakuza 6 again! <sighs> the Mililani family has one living heir. Lani. When she brought that to me, I could scarcely believe it was authentic. Yeah, I'm sure. The whole time, Bryce must have seemed like a righteous leader. You couldn't have known he was hiding anything. That's why... That's why I fell into his trap. I called Bryce to ask him about it. Oh man. Well, you did what came naturally. Uh, that letter was way too much to handle on your That's own. That's a bad move. It would have been standard procedure to inform Bryce, I'm sure. Thank you. But standard or not, it was the worst move I could have made. Yeah, it was. I got Lonnie something to eat and called Bryce's number. Despite how late it was, Bryce immediately said he'd come over. <laughs> that was when I started feeling like something was wrong. <sighs> Bryce got there acting like usual. <laughs> then he saw the pendant and the will. Before I knew it, Lonnie had a gun pointed at her. <sighs> All I could do was take her hand and run away. But Bryce's men were already after us. We were being hunted. Everyone in Polygon I used to trust turned on us. But somehow, we got to Night Square, where Kyo-san was willing to give us shelter. You were in my turf from the very start, and I never found you. Ugh, I'll never live this shit down. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself. Since you and Bryce are enemies, it may Bro, it's about hearts and minds, it. dude. Wait, didn't you're Dana not say the most Akane inspiring figure? Behind? With all his resources, I bet the Sage has a forger on payroll. I guess so. That means the police who gave up looking are probably with Bryce too. Anyway, if he was ready to kill a little girl just like that, this is the real deal. That night, did he come alone? Mm. Maybe he didn't want his people learning the truth. And now every gang in Hawaii is trying to cover it up. By now, he must be desperate. Uh, hey, Akane-san, what did the will mean about him being illegitimate? From what I understand, the last sage was killed in a robbery, along with his wife. Oh, man. Bryce claims that the sage entrusted his pendant to him as he was dying. If vaults that's, legain that's sketch, bro. means what I that's think highly it sketch. might. Then Bryce might have been behind that robbery, huh? Remember the opening cutscene? No, like I don't. I don't remember Bryce it at all. Bryce saw Bryce for what he was, according to the will. In that case, <laughs> this pendant's the real thing. And Bryce's must be. Most likely, a fake. The last sage could have sensed something amiss and switched pendants in advance. Probably, considering what he wrote down. Now it makes sense. Bryce would do anything to keep that secret. So this Mililani family, what happened? They must have known the danger they'd face challenging him. Even after so long. Bryce is crazed when it comes to maintaining power. Oh, seems that way. And so. Oh right, the yeah. Milani family. Elderly couple murdered in the car and then assassin murdered and killed by the client. Now. Nani's grandmother had no ties to them. I doubt she even fully knew the pendant's true worth. She may have only thought Polycana would look after Lani if she had it in her possession, never realizing the danger it put her in. This means. Lani is the real sage of Polycana, doesn't it? Uh, a child shouldn't and have she's to bear worth that 50 kind billion of yen. Polycana has gone this long without her. There's no good reason to involve her now. You're right. It's all going to be okay, Lani. Sit tight. 
Let Bro, he said this car was bulletproof, right? This makes me think they're about to get T-boned from a side direction. It's really been 45 years. You're older now than Masumi-san was the last time I saw him. You should have seen me in my prime. Uh, sorry you couldn't. I should say the same thing to you. But... I've always wanted to hold you again. <laughs> and now, oh, you're much too big for me to pick up. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to hurt your back. Dude, hug your mom. The thing is, Akane-san, I know you best as the woman Arakawa-san told me about. Hmm? How you carried a newborn out of the hospital? Doing everything you could to protect it? I mean, that's just amazing. There was nothing amazing about it. All I did was run for my life. And when I stowed that baby away, I had given up on everything. Akane-san, look what you're doing right now. Running with a child. So I am. <sighs> Some people never learn, do we? But you know, Arakawa-san said to me that... Of all the women over the years, there was only one. <sighs> Even if I've only just met you, I can tell why. Thank you for that. <laughs> Eyes on the damn road. Of course. I'll deliver you safely. I swear on my life, boss. Bro, Yamai absolutely has, like, a, a party. Like, and it's like a... Oh, man. I'm shocked we didn't get T-boned by a truck. Right here's good. The Daidoji safe house shocked. just up there. Hold back a second. Tetsu. All quiet. Nobody in sight. Saji. Everything looks okay, boss. Coast is clear. That's all I've got for you. I appreciate this, Yamai. It's usually too late for men like us to do right by the people we came from. Hmm. Bro, I'm anxious. It's us. Kasuga and everyone. Oh, what? Man, Hanawa, you must feel fucking stupid as shit that he just walks right the fucking back in with the girl. I've arranged for a private jet. We're preparing for takeoff now. Another 30 minutes or so. Feel free to rest in the meantime. Oh, that's posh. Perks of being an evil enterprise, huh? Well, hardly evil. We simply maintain the status quo. Status quo sucks, Hanawa! There. Welcome. I'm pleased you're safe. I take it, you're Akane-san, then. At last, we've searched for some time. I'm moved to confess. I'm curious why my superiors find you so valuable. <clears throat> Hanawa-san, you have any tact? Could I at least try putting him at ease? Hmm. Uh, let's sit. Uh, please. <laughs> Bro, close the fucking door, Chitose. I'm... <sighs> What's wrong, Chitose-san? Just now, I saw you trying to call someone. What, what are you talking about? Beat him! Beat his legs! Something wrong he doesn't eat! He won't even feel it! That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> Quit playing games, Chitose-san. My phone. May I have it back? It'll be mostly symbolic. Chitose-san. Hey, Chichan. Listen carefully, Ichiban. 
He was never the person you thought he was. Quit playing game! Akane-san and Lani aren't safe here. Huh? <sighs> Dude, I want him to stand up and start whooping ass. I want him to stand up and start kicking He's people's asses. Me all along. I couldn't tell you. Uh, uh, I'm confused. Is this some kind of private joke I don't get? Chi-chan, how could a be blackmailing you? With what? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Chitose-san and I just met the other day. <laughs> hey! What are you doing? He can move his legs just like Yeah! Yeah, he's he faking it! Front. This fucking rules! Chichon, think about it. You used to care for someone in a wheelchair. Masato Arakawa, right? He reminds you of him, doesn't he? That was the plan from the beginning. Get in the chair, play on your sympathies. Wait a second. You're saying Achan. Yeah, his check him! Work? Beat his legs with a hammer, walk? see if no. he cares! I, I, I'd have known. I, I would have been able to tell. Achan wasn't. He's not. Hey, John. Oh, look at you. Never been a bigger sucker. <laughs> Lidocaine, it's called. It's a fast acting localized anesthetic. Oh, that's smart. At the time, I said, how hard could it be to fake being crippled? It's really hard. <laughs> Luckily, Ebina-san insisted you'd spot an act. <laughs> Ebina? As Dude, in, this is totally you Tarzan. Plan, Ebina? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> the fuck? Who are you? Hey, man. They know everything. Akane-san and Lani. What? They have to get out of here. Oh, how disappointing. Chitose Dwight comes Yomi. back. He never had the heart. Never could see it through. You know what's going to happen now. Your life's not worth shit. Hey, John. You bastard. Ichiban, we don't have time. They're already here. No, we have time to whoop his legs. We have time. Oh! Damn it. Oh man, he's just having the worst time getting shot. I'm gonna kill that fucking asshole. Ooh, that motherfucker! Ooh! Oh, it's so intense in my chest! Holy shit! I can do this. You're in it. I'm oh, a now. Surprise. Well, this this sequence seems kind of stupid now. Looks like I'm up. What's it called? Oh, is it go time? I'm up. There's no other boys, dude. Time to go all 
Yeah, whatever. Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, whatever, whatever, whatever. Who cares? Oh, fucking Superman punch. Man, Alex Lee has just come out of nowhere to be like A plus all over the place. They slapped your mom, dude. She's unconscious, but she'll be okay. You need to take that? It's uh, not good for them. <gasps> Hanawa san and Wong, they were both shot. They're dead. I, I just saw his eyebrow. <gasps> no. Wait, what? You didn't even like those guys. I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Oh, man. Kill your son. It's Kasuga. What's happened? Oh no, son. He's been killed. Wong, too. And Lonnie. Only Kana has her. She's gone. Forgive me. Everything. I screwed everything up. Cancelled by a VTuber while you were while you were getting murdered, Ichiban. Don't be cruel. So, AJ tipped off Dwight about the safe house. And if what he said is true, he's also got ties to Ebina. I have that right. Yeah. Then if he knows Dwight, I imagine he knows Bryce by way of association. That means it's AJ, Bryce of Polycana, and Ebina of the Serio clan. All of them working against us. How could I let this happen? Everything. It's all my fault. Aichan made a fool of me. We're dealing with someone who put himself in a wheelchair because he dug up your history with Masato Arakawa. I doubt many people could see through something so devious. So don't put this all in yourself. It's pretty fucking devilish. Hanawa-san and Wong still died. Honey son got hurt. Lonnie's still gone. And now we're looking for her all over again. I know it's a bad situation. We're at rock bottom, and it can't get much worse. <sighs> well, listen, Kasuga. That's all the more reason to keep your head up. Guys like us, all we can do is swallow the pain and push forward. Yeah. 
Dude, we need we need Zhao and Jingi Han so bad. I still don't have the full story. You said Aja was blackmailing you. What did you mean? I wish I could tell you, but now is hardly the time. The police could be here any minute, and I'd rather be long gone. That said, I do need to get something off my chest. Here you, son. Ichiban. Yeah? You've heard of the Tatara channel, yeah? The one that put false accusations on Ichiban and the party, and outed Kiryu-san's existence to the world? What about it? The VTuber running the show, Hisoka Tatara. Well, <gasps> that was me. What? I'll demonstrate. What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya! Ready for another mind-blowing revelation? Cause here it is! The dragon of Doji Oh, she's so Doji. toxic! That voice. Oh, she's so evil! You're her? Oh, she's the best! Yeah. I'm like spitting on my fucking you. shit. You wrote the script, I did the song and dance. <laughs> now you know the truth. I'd say that's pretty Cade says happened. shines the Gene Park signal. He's here right Still, now! I wouldn't have guessed it was AG behind all that. <laughs> it's just like you said earlier. <laughs> AG's been working with Ebina from the start. Everything he does is under Ebina's orders. Speaking of, Ebina's starting some kind of garbage storing business with Polykana. Yeah, I heard it from the man himself. Now I know which parts he left out. Well, they've all been chasing Akane-san because she's sheltering Lani. Apparently, they thought sending Ichiban to Hawaii would help lure them out. Well, they were right. And to see that through, eiji has been keeping tabs on him from the moment they met on the plane. As for me, I was just another pawn in their game. Chichana. So it's confirmed when she was talking about the fucking Bryce, YouTube numbers. Ebina and AG in the end. Not to mention Sawashiro. Uh, the captain? Oh, man. Yeah. When Tatar and Ebina outed me, it was right there with- Bro, if I- Fuck. I got fooled by the fact that I worked for YouTube. So it didn't even- It didn't even stand out. That she was like, oh yeah, totally, this is the numbers, blah, 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 blah. Fuck. I'm on video. It's true, Ichiban. You put us through some major shit over here. Uh, no, uh, hang on a sec. Did you really think... You really think that's right? What do you mean? I know this might sound crazy, but... Guys, I don't think the captain would put Akane-san in danger. Huh? Ichiban, you realize who you're talking about? He'll do anything and everything to get ahead, or save his own skin. For instance, wasn't he gonna kill Akane-san just to hide his dirty secret from his boss? But he held back. Also, it was for the young master, to give his son a better life. And now, now that he's lost everything, all he's got left is making good on his death. This back and forth on Joe being Think the worst piece of shit ever. Why is else annoying would he let himself get locked up for a murder he didn't commit? There's no way he'd leave Akane san to the wolves. Not after all this. You're that sold, huh? Oh god, Joe also went to prison for a murder he didn't do. Oh my god, damn it. Hurry it up, Ichiban. We need to go, now! Kiryu-san, when the captain asked me to go to Hawaii, he bowed to me. I know him. Bowing his head to me, of all people, can't be just an Yeah, he hates it. He fucking hates That's you. one thing he'd never do. Me meeting Akane-san would help the captain bury one of his last regrets. That has to be why he sent me. And Sawashiro, you really think Ebina hasn't moved him in on his real plan? 
I do. That's true. Then he may not be on Ebina's team after all. Here, Yusan. Could you talk to the captain for me? Right now, I need to go after Lonnie. If we don't act fast, she might be gone forever. All right. We'll take this from separate angles. If anything changes, I'll contact you right away. Guess we've got ourselves a date with Sabashiro. Anyone lower on the totem pole won't be worth the trouble. So storming Seiryu HQ's on hold then? To the yeah. garbage depot! First things first, we need a way to contact Sawashiro. Hey, you heard that right. You know how to get a hold of them. <sighs> like I tell you! Rubber legs. <laughs> Over my dead body! If I were Rubber you, legs. I'd choose my words more carefully. Don't waste your breath on this asshole. Hmm? Hey, Sawashiro may be elusive, but he's still in my town. Think I wouldn't already have his number? You were quick, Sunny. Hmm. Something wrong, Psycho? It's just, didn't this Eiji guy completely pull the wool over Ichiban's eyes? Yeah. Yeah. And now Ichiban's saying Sawashiro, of all people's, reformed. What makes him so sure? If you told me he was working for Ebina, I'd buy it. Yet somehow you believe him, don't you? Maybe he sees something we don't. After all, isn't that one of his strengths? Uh, how do I respond to that? That's cheating. Well, whoever side he's on, Sawashi are still a key Bro, I hope this. I hope we beat his legs. <sighs> True enough. I'm so I'm I Okay then. Man, I can't believe I started today's show talking about how funny I think it is to beat somebody's legs with hammers. And here right. we are. When push comes to shove, <laughs> you got to keep your head up. Like Dude, you Here can you always hear the music in that shithole. Why don't we have a strategy meeting? Go over what we know. That way, we'll all be on the same page. Okay. Not a bad idea. Let's do it at Survive. Can't think of anywhere better. All hands on deck, I could call them in. Yes, call them in. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. The balance of Eugene Joe is crumbling enough as it is. Who are we inviting? <laughs> Why don't I let you guess? Wouldn't want to ruin the surprise. Suppose we should head to Survive. Anna was dead. All he was to me is my handler. Still, a lot happened between us, I suppose. We made it this far now. I don't want to leave Akane-san to us. We'll see this through, I promise. You always work so far. Alright, you deserve to rest. I'll be joining you soon. Yeah, uh, no, I don't have to go on. It, it is time for the end of the show right now. Uh, I will be seeing you guys tomorrow at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific. But the boys, the boys will be there tomorrow morning, afternoon, whatever. Anybody else is bothered the names, kid's name is Lonnie Milani? Not really. People have names like that all the time. That's a real thing. As long as it's not Tataru Taru. Right? All right. Let's thank Peepo. Peepo thanking time. Monster Envy subbed. Thank you. Says have fun. I did. Thank you. Doomsday Dance up. Watched Dune 2 over the weekend. Loved it. You were great as Baron Harkonnen. That's not nice. I know that's the big fat guy. Demily Pyro, thanks again for the raid. Very appreciated. Like a pen dragon kicked in five bucks. Finished all the main Yakuza games except Infinite Wealth, and I'm traveling to Japan for the first time next year. We'll be mainly visiting the location from everyone's favorite part of the series, Okinawa. Have a great night. Thanks, man. Have fun. Okinawa's really nice, apparently. Dead man prop subs says, yo, Pat, somebody never played the Yakuza series, but wants to get in. Which one should I start with? I don't mind a game looking old. I'm in, this, I'm in my 30s. Zero or seven? If you play zero, just roll right the fuck on through. Zero, Kiwami, Kiwami two, three, four, five, six, seven, Gaiden, eight. What about one? I said Kwame. I said Kwame Mask Michael. Drusifer plays. Uh, thanks, Drusifer. 
Uh, hi, Pat and Fam. Do you have any favorite inter enemy interactions where you can engage in actions other than combat? For example, I love holding up guards in MGS2 and interrogating them in MGS3. Oh, I really like the pressure-sensitive buttons in Metal Gear Solid 3 causing you to accidentally slit guys' throats constantly. That's, that's like my favorite. <laughs> Rune God 20 kicked in a sub. Thanks, man. But Pat, we have to look up for the UFO so Ichiban can riz on an alien. No, no, we don't have to. And Theophilius kicked in a sub. Thanks, man. All right. I'm out of here. Oh, wait, hold on. Dial Gal Grunge kicked in a sub. Says Dragon's Dogma 2 is coming. I'm shaking. Yes, it's on its way in ten, uh, uh, 10 days. Next Friday. That's crazy. Crazy dogma. I We will all enjoy Dragon's Dogma together on next Friday. It'd be so fun for us all to play it for the first time on that day. Okay. I have to go. Goodbye.